Welcome to another episode of the panel. Uh, it was a lot of good hoop last night. Y'all see the title of the show is SGA a bona fide superstar or he is a bona fide superstar. Whether that's a question, that's up to you, but we will get down to the bottom of all of that. On top of that, we're going to get everybody's top five point guards this season. Not last year, not projecting into the future, but as of right now. But chat. I typically don't do this. I I let us ease into a topic, and we'll talk about this, and we'll talk about that. J-Rob, what's good with you? What's, what's good, good chat? What's good, fellas? But it's two people in here I must address. Nephew. Simply because what's good? when my team plays bad or gives up a big lead, we call them fool's gold. But I want to know how y'all feel about that fraud badge. That is on the Boston Celtics because chill. Because chill. <laughs> no, 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 no. We gotta talk about this because chill. It's no way that your man's and your boys blow a twenty-two point lead in the fourth quarter. Speaking of twenty-two, it's no way that Jason Tatum scores twenty-two points in the first half and finishes with twenty-six. Mm-hmm. Chill. I'm just saying. It is March six. The playoffs are literally right around the corner. It's an exit. Hey, we're, mm-hmm. we're at the exit, chill. You know, I'm still seeing signs mm-hmm. of getting close. Back in 2020, 21, 22, 23. Chill, I just don't know if these boys are ready yet. I Which don't. I think is I I, I think it's, in, it's, it's it's interesting because number one, their best player was hide down there, Ox. Yeah, the, the, their best player wasn't playing last night, right? So Nine minutes left in the game. They got a 22-point lead. There is no more X and O's. We've done everything that we need to win this game. End it. Right? I don't have to X and O you or do anything like that. Everybody's talking about how Jason Tatum didn't do this, Jason Tatum didn't do that, Jalen Brown didn't do this. Nobody's talking about the fact that they didn't do the other stuff neither. The second-chance points that the Cleveland Cavaliers got. They did not rebound. They did a terrible job at guarding the long ball line. And let's not forget... Like, like like you just said, Ron, you said that you're seeing the same things that you were seeing from 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 2021, 22. I mean, let's not make let's not act like the Boston Celtics win two games, lose one, lose lose a game, win a game. Just so you know, yesterday's game, that was they, they broke an eleven game win streak. They won eleven straight before last night. That's number one. Number two, this is the same team that's got four, count them, four or five game winning streaks this year. Five of them. So they was rolling. Dean Wade got hot. And you would think that they would have known this because of, you know, Max Struess a couple of nights ago. I was disappointed. More, I, I was disappointed more than I was concerned because I don't think that that's something that's likely. You have to close the game out, being up 22, but you got to do the other stuff because I felt like they had enough points to win. I feel like the other stuff is the stuff that needed to be done in order to win. Holding them dudes to one shot, defending at the rim, defending the long ball line. Jared Allen cleaning up the glass at the end. Dean Wade getting tip dunks. Drew Holiday completely missing assignments where he's on the Dean Wade is on the weak side of the floor and he's not blocking them out and he's got a straight line to the basket. These are the things that matter in order to win ball games. And they didn't do any of that stuff. So the idea that it was all, yo, know, Jason Tatum only scored four points in the second only, only scored four points in the second half. We gotta give some, we gotta give some credit to the Cavs. Because the, the ass kicking that they took from the Knicks and getting beat up by the Knicks the way they did to show the fight that they did last night, I give a I, I give a lot of credit to what the Cavs did. Chill, no, 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 no. We're not gonna flip this on the Cavs and make it a Cavs thing. Chill. I've been hearing that this man is better than Luka Doncic. I would never, <laughs> ever, 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 ever see a fourth quarter or second half where Luka scores four points and lets his team get walked down. It, it's just, it will not happen. Mars, you said in any realm of the universe, we did that whole thing a couple mm-hmm. days ago. We even did it yesterday. We, you, it's, it's no multiverse where Luka Doncic mm-hmm. gets walked down without shooting. It's so that's what this about, Ron? So that's, so that's oh, what this about? Oh, oh, hold on, big guy. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's not as much about no, Luka as it is no, about Jason Tatum. He just showed his true colors. He, he, he yeah, showed, he showed, he showed it's not so much about Luka, Luka as it is about Jason Tatum not showing up. He showed his hand too early, Chilton. That's all this is. This is pure hatred 
to come here to come and, 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 here to come here and try to hatred? act like this was about to come here and try to act like this was about the Celtics was disgusting. It is about the Celltics. A team that's more specifically so they, so they about just, their best they, player. They win eleven game. They win eleven games straight. They lose one game by one point. Jason Tatum has twenty six and thirteen. You come in here and try to and try to make this about big enough Luka Doncic about Jason Tatum. All you all you're trying to do. This is crazy, Ron. This is despicable big behavior. Big out. about big big out. I can't believe you just showed your face like that. You chose you showed your hand too quick, Ron. You could you could have went a little deep. You could. You could have did a little more before you showed really, really <laughs> and, let and, the people and, know what this was about, Ron. Come on, don't do this. And big up, don't leave out the fact that Dallas has lost five of their last six games. How many? Five of their Wait, last six hold games. on. This is not, not only, about Dallas at all. It. Let's not talk want, about you Dallas. No, see, you, you guys, up, hey, chill. You brought up the Cavs and then Bob brought up the Mavs. No, we're talking about the Celtics. No, we're talking about the Boston, the big bad Boston Celtics. Since we since we bring it up, Luca, let's discuss the fact that five of the last six games that they've lost. Of the five of the last six games they lost, Luca is averaging 37, 10, and 11. How's that going for them, Ron? How's that working out for them? Since since you want a subject of, of dudes not letting of dudes just not letting leads go away. Because I've seen them have double digit leads. Not only have I, I said he's not going out, he's not going out without shooting, chill. What, what I'm asking, what I'm asking what I'm saying. is okay, no how's that been going? How's that been going for them? Five of their last six games. You cannot compare that with the the, the rosters that we have. Here. I'm Swift. sorry, Come on. I can't what let this doing? go on any longer. Yo, yo, you guys are trying to get you guys are trying to get Jason Tatum out of jail and bail him out by by running to the Mavs losing. No, you, let's you, talk you about the Cavs one walking you guys down. You D one, he scored twenty points in the fourth quarter. Where was Jason Tatum's defense at right there? Where was Jalen Brown's antennas? You can't tell like where was Derek White, Drew Holiday when that was going on. Right, you can't that, give that, that, all that, this credit to Dean Wade, bro. Ron, you can't I will not argue that. Book. No Donovan I, Mitchell, bro. I will not argue that. I that part I will not argue. At the last nine minutes of that game, they had clearly enough to win that game. They didn't do the rest of the stuff, including Jason Tatum. Not just not just scoring buckets, not just scoring buckets. They didn't get any stops. I, th I think I think Cleveland went on a twenty-three to four run to end the game. To end the game, they're not getting on the backboard. They're not getting at the long ball line. Dean Wade. Of the 23 points that he scored, 20 of them was in them last nine minutes. 20 of them. They didn't get any stops. That is a we got, Celtic thing. We got a $50 super chat, but I'm not done with y'all black asses. No, we ain't. Uh, uh, we going we to get back that's to That's a this. phenomenal Trust. image right there. Can't. What is this, uh, J-Rock? I actually got that image tatted on my, my right arm. It's yeah, really it's Rock Lee? Nah, yeah. it's Naruto, bro. Come on now. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's Rock Lee, bro. But I got that picture literally tatted on me. Fire, fire, okay. Uh, Kent Lipscomb Jr. said Tim Duncan top five, and we need to acknowledge his quad double in 2003. I acknowledge it. Ask, what, what was it a quad double or was it a triple double? Because I think he was close to having a quad triple. No, he got 10 blocks, they just didn't give him 10 blocks. Oh, okay, all right. I just want he to got 10 blocks, they were just hating. They ain't oh. trying to see someone get a quadruple double in the final, so they was like, nah, <laughs> they hate what's, what's the what's the what's the benefit of, of, of not? Giving him that extra block, Mars. They hate us. Oh, That's man. the benefit. They want to hate. I mean, he, only had he, got, he got he got ten blocks. So I don't know. He got ten I mean, blocks. You can, you can watch the game and count. You I mean, I mean, didn't that guy come out? But didn't that guy come out and say like, you know, they be in the booth, kind of rigging the stats? You know, they was in the nineties. I saw that for Jordan. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how like headliney that is though. I think like yeah. now some of these people are just like saying stuff to to make a headline on well, whatever. It, well, there was a whole documentary about cheating refs, and there it's were true. cheating refs that are still refing in the NBA. So, I mean, refs I don't want to refs don't do the stats, pad. though, j -Rod. Huh? Refs don't do – refs aren't the ones that count the stats, though. They're not the statisticians. Well, I was in the, but, no, I wasn't talking about – yeah, I shouldn't have said ref, but whoever's the, the analytic guy that be, like, in the computer room when games be on and stuff who track the stats, mm -hmm. whoever that is. I shouldn't have said ref to – well, that. I mean, I think there is a point like there's corruption's possible. I think that's you can bring the refs into that. But yeah, yeah but for, I mean, for sure, I the, they were saying bookkeepers are like boosting stats during mm -hmm. the Jordan era. You're still doing I don't it? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't I don't care about it. I, I think at the end of the day, it's like people are just looking for more to to add to that conversation because we've mm -hmm. talked about it so much in the Braun right. MJ, especially with Braun playing well lately. Um, 
But right. yeah, it says he only had eight blocks like on the in the in the book. So they shorted him two. Like I can see. Yes. I thought it was nine. Two. Yes. I, I thought, yes. I thought yes. it was that, that could happen. No, that happens though. It right. says twenty. He had twenty-one, twenty boards, ten dimes, and eight yeah. blocks. That's twenty-one and twenty is crazy. Anyone who has time today, anyone who has time today, just watch the game and just count Tim Duncan blocks. Come back tomorrow, you'll see he got ten. Uh, that's yeah. it. Yeah. They hate it. If we if, if 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 we had a guy that's running around in the league today, right? That won the league MVP in back to back seasons, won the NBA championship, and was the finals MVP during 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 this era, right? Let's just let's just say during this era, won the league MVP in back to back seasons, won the finals MVP, then two years later finished top three in league MVP votes, won the NBA championship, and won the finals MVP again, and then two years later won the NBA championship. How will we be talking about it? How are we talking about that? The media narratives would be crazy. I'll tell you that much. If there was mm-hmm. more media, like when he played more, so, especially social media, like that's just by the way, crazy. and by the way, that's just in a five year span. That's not like over the course of like a decade or, or 12 years. That's in five years. We had to do do that in a five year span. How are we talking about it? Because that's Tim Duncan, by the way. He'd, he'd be he'd be viewed as a pretty good player. Like, no, he wouldn't be Moss. No, he would not be. He would be pre- he would be viewed as better than pretty good. I'm sure of it. Because I, because I, because the reason why, because I watched Giannis, I watched Giannis win back-to-back league MVPs. I watched him win the Defensive Player of the Year, and I watched him win the NBA championship and the Finals MVP. And in one year, he went from on his way to getting it done to now being the best power forward in NBA history. That was a that was a conversation that was going on. He went from a guy who they were building a wall up against. Within two years, we go from that to this is the best power forward in NBA history. So Tim I mean, Duncan, people who say anything though, that doesn't. People said AD was better than Tim Duncan when he won in twenty twenty. So, people so imagine what the logic the logic would be on on Duncan if he did what I just said over a five year span. What was the logic on Duncan at the time in 07? What were they saying about Tim Duncan? He was he he was arguably the best player in the game. He wasn't even considered the best player in the game because Shaq was still running around. He was arguably the best. He wasn't definitively the best player in the game. He was arguably the best player in the game. Is that wrong yeah. that he wasn't definitively the best player in the world? I think it's wrong, considering my logic and the way I have def- have guys definitively being the best player on the planet. If you win the league MVP in back to back seasons, then take your team to the NBA championship and win the finals MVP, then do it again or, or not even do it again. At that point, I think you're the best player on the planet. But then two years later, win it again, and Sorry. you're still a top three I player. Agree. I think you I, I think you're the best player in the world and then win it again off the strength of you when you are you basically move yourself to a different position and change your game for the betterment of the team and you're still elite. I think you're the best player. I think that you I think you're the best player in the world. So chill, I get your logic and I'm I'm not challenging that at all because it's it's tough to like argue against that. But 07 was who it was a gauntlet. Oh, I think I think it was tougher in 07 to determine who the best player is than it has been like the last couple years. This year, right now, 07, it was like <laughs> it's kind of like flip a coin. Who's your guy? Who 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 do you want to argue with? Right. Was it was it not just Kobe? No, it wasn't just I, Kobe. I, I believe it was Kobe. Okay. No, it wasn't <laughs> I believe I, Kobe. I, 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 I'm more oh, with Kobe, fault. but I'm, I'm not mad at 07. Anybody saying it wasn't under? I will say this, Moss. I'm not saying that it wasn't him. It just wasn't undisputed. Oh, it was okay, maybe I, maybe I it, was, it, was, it, it, it was it was it was it was a, it was a conversation for Dirk Nowitzki. It was a conversation. Yes, absolutely. It was a conversation for Dirk. Are you kidding me, Mars? A dude who was just in the NBA championship. If you, you, hey, 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 well, well, don't get Mars started on what a conversation is. Anyone who was around 17 years ago saying, hey, Dirk's better than Kobe. I disagree that, with you, sir. That was good. That was going I on. Disagree. I don't know. In, but in, 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 in live or not, Mars, that was going in live on. time. In live time, Mars, it was happening. Maybe, maybe, yeah, was maybe, happening. maybe, maybe, maybe. I know, maybe, doubt, maybe I know doubt that it was happening. I just think yes, was, you know, that was going on. Yes, it was. But, but in 07, I mean, you seen Dark in 07, right, Mars? Like, I mean, he dominated like any other like yes. big time star. And I mean, look, this is Mavs goggles for sure. And and I'm gonna not gonna sit here and say that he was better than Tim Duncan. Um, at the end of the day, I think like. Tim Duncan is one of the few guys in basketball that you can say is an undisputed goat in his position. I think there's no one else that comes close to the greatest power forward of all time. I think Dirk might be like 
one of the greatest scoring power forwards, but overall game, it was it was Tim and it wasn't close. Does KG have a horse finish race in 2007? Yeah, this actually. is what I'm thinking of. Not in 2007. You, you, you mean you mean at the fourth spot or, or as an overall player? No, as at an the overall fourth spot. At the fourth I'm, spot. I'm gonna assume they weren't respecting KG because that would be his third year straight miss in the playoffs. Right. Mm -mm. Right. So I'm <clears> that's why he wouldn't be in the conversation, nope. even though right. he was still just very, very good. But it was also awesome. in, in, in 07. I'm like KG in 07. If if we're having a player draft, KG right. falls no further than five. Really, I really don't think he falls further than three. Duncan, hey, Brian, Duncan, Tobin. Some people will take dirt. Yep, Duncan, yeah. Brian. I don't know. If I'm I, taking I, you know, I'm I take I'm taking KG, but some people James. Are taking it, so. mm -hmm. This is when because remember the next year he goes to Boston. And I mean, you see what he did on the defense. Wins, wins, wins defensive player of the year, comes like third in league MVP, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then remember, Marcy had himself on defense, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. <laughs> for for two K like two K draft fiends, KG in a Legends League. I'm talking every player in two K of all time. KG is like goes one, two, or three in in those drafts. I mean, I know it don't matter that much, but it, I was surprised when I saw it. KG going three is just dog simulation animal. That's all I think. I today. think KG so was. Be, I think KG was the best power forward in the league in 07. So that's just me. But I get he missed the playoffs, so it's hard to make that case, I guess. But I think he was better than Duncan and Dirk and Amari, whoever uh, else would be in that conversation. It was. It was rough back then. Amari, like, Amari, Amari. 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 got to got to respect Amari. Right. He was good. But, but but Mars like in those times in like in those times in live in real time, time. I was having I was in real time yeah I was having a rough time because KG was my like KG was my dude like hands down my favorite dude. player and people are telling me he can't he can't mess with Dirk he can't make it out the West he can't beat this team he's not making the playoffs he sucks this and that just because of that so right it was it was rough on KG back in those days Mars I really yeah, don't think I, you I, understand I can't believe that. <clears throat> but then, Mars, I, I, I really don't think you understand that, and you you actually you do understand that. I take that back. The quote unquote winning bias, and mm -hmm. you know, winning matters when you're talking about the best player, whether at a position or being the best player in the league. Winning matters, and when you're not making the playoffs for three straight years, we're not talking about you like that. You're just a dude on a bad team getting buckets. You're just a dude on a bad team that's kicking ass. That's all you're really doing. When in reality, you are awesome. But it's not really translating to anything. It's not. Yeah, I can understand why people say that, but yeah, I have a hard time. I have a hard time watching those Tim Bulls teams, which were terrible to watch, and saying, "Oh yeah, KG." Just they were garbage. Putting up numbers on a bad team, like no, he was doing everything in his power to make they that team garbage. competent. I blame. I blame. I blame Steph. I mean, he saw. He saw K, KG talking about it's too cold here. with somewhere where it's cold? Like Steph, on, Steph was wrong for that. <laughs> I'll, never, I'll never, I'll never forgive Steph for that. Steph, you never from New York? <laughs> it's cold. No, you grew no, up there. Right. Right. There's levels to cold. There's levels to cold. Minnesota cold ain't the same as New York. I don't care. You get, you get, you get. Oh, like uh -uh. all this money, you you can't. Ain't no way. <laughs> you can't afford to turn your heater on, Steph. You go from the door to the car, from the car to the gym, back to the end. Yeah, what was the one jackets that we wear during that time? Bubble them one jackets. I know, I know, he had a couple of them. I know he had a couple. Yeah, I had a bubble goose in. I still was Damn. cold. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about it's cold. You out here playing with Kevin, Kevin Garnett. It's cold. No hey, but, for that. So we, we've we mentioned KG. We've mentioned yep. Dirk. We've mentioned Kobe at this time. Shaq was even mentioned too, but Shaq was over. In 07, Shaq was on his way out. Can, can we all mention, though, the next person that I'm surprised J-Rob hasn't brought him up? You want to say D-Way? James. Either of them. Either well, D Wade was hurt in 07, right? Yeah, he actually messed I up his show. LeBron. Yeah, but James, LeBron, where's LeBron? LeBron wasn't better than Steve Nash yet, so he got, mm. he, got he was getting close in 07. In, in, in 07, still, he was getting close. No, what in 07, in, 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 in 07, he was right there. In 07, he was literally right My there. My dog was in the mix in 07. Yeah, in 07, he My boy was, was right, right in the mix, Ron. Oh, yeah, he was right, right in that 07, mix. Hold on, because 07. That was the year they went to the finals. Yeah. yeah. My dog was right I'm, in the mix, at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the end of, at the end of 07, at the end of 07, that's when the conversation started about Thank being. You. That's when the conversation <laughs> started about where he was in terms of the great players in the league. Like, well, that's that's why that's why I said what I just yeah. said. I'm not saying I'm not saying he was getting close. Like, oh, he wasn't close to Steve Nash. I'm like, he wasn't getting close. Like, 
give me Bron. Yeah, give me Bron, bro. Come on, I'm <laughs> I'm like, give me Bron. Yeah, you, 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 got, you guys can have LeBron, but he he, he wasn't there. Yeah, if I'm we, not, so so we're we're talking about this the 07 season, right? So right now we're getting prepared to go into 2008. Eight, and we're talking yeah. we're talking about who's the who's better here. Let's do a let's do a draft. I hope you don't take Bron. I want him. Oh no, you can get 22 year old LeBron and then build from the right. next five years, and you'll have the best player in the world. I mean, shout out to you. But at that time, for a season, was, Mars. Mm -hmm. Season, series, month, whatever you want to call it. 2007, Steve Nash is better than 2007, LeBron. Um, that's it. Based on what, Miles? The fact that he only 22? Is that it? No, it's based on the fact that defensively, LeBron hadn't come into his own yet. He was probably... He still was better than Steve Nash. No, wait, yeah, of course. Wait, yeah, of course. I'm not arguing defensively okay. he's worse than Steve Nash. What I was yeah. going to say, of that Cavs roster, in that starting five, he was probably the fourth best defender. Probably, and so they, 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 they got they got year, to the final. Yeah, they got Eric, to the final. Eric Snow, the Eric Snow at the teams. one. Eric Snow at the one. Uh, let's see, Danilovich, I think at the two. No, I'm sorry, Hughes at the two. Uh, mm -hmm. James at the three. Daniel Marshall at the four, and Zodrusis Elgana. Uh, Big, Big Z. I can't believe he took that team to the NBA Finals. Holy shit. Yeah, but hey, don't disrespect like Big Z, bro. They, 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 they're not going to disrespect that's why, Big Z. That's why they go down and play defense. I can't they believe that. But what's that, what's that got to do with Steve Nash? I was, I was, yeah, I I was going through right. it. I was going through it. Point right. one was LeBron's defense hadn't elevated to the levels it had in future years to where right. even if he was worse offensively than Steve Nash, which he was in my opinion, even if he was, his defense would have elevated him. Like in 09, when he was one of the five best defenders in the world, undisputed, and his offense elevated. 07 LeBron was too flawed offensively and not good enough defensively to make up for Steve Nash being one of the best offensive players in the world, in my opinion. Right. Steve Nash, to me, at worst, is the third best offensive player in the world, to me, at that time. Third, at worst, to me. LeBron James isn't really in that conversation. Then defensively, I'd say he's average on defense. He's average. Nash was terrible. In 2007, Mars, he was average? Yeah, he, was, he was an average defender. I don't think he became good until 08. I think and then he was he's been great than average. Than average. Yeah, I think he was an average defender. I think he was better than average, but I'm sorry, keep going. I mean, yeah, if you think he was, yeah, I think he was bad. What would you call him? Good? How old? How old? Just slightly above average. Yeah, I think he was good. I don't good. think. I don't, I don't think he was. I don't. He wasn't elite yet. Okay. He was, he, he yeah. was becoming. I, elite. I would more Actually, if man, I would I mean, if I weren't going to say I'm average, I would say he was a slight positive. That's as far as I would go. I'd say he was a slight positive. Right. And then offensively, is it's not close. I mean, yeah, but but Mars, I'm saying so if. If we go, if you say that he's better than him, he's one of the third best offensive players in the NBA. Like, okay, that's cool. But based on what, how, how was Bron not? Because it really matters in the game, in the moments, right? If you mm -hmm. got a guy that just goes 25 straight points, 25 straight points in the playoffs against Detroit, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't see where, where are the offensive flaws here? What, what's the problem here? What, what do we, if, if you're, if you have these abilities to carry your squad, all, on your back offensively, when you're when you're when you're scoring the ball, yeah. your team is winning games. Where's the where's the flaws here? I don't. Oh, Mars. you can't do this. You can't do that. Did, but you did, can put wait, the ball did, in the basket you, though. Did you see Mars? The I need I need you to answer this. Okay. And make your final point. Now we got to get to my man. Chris well, the the floor the floor showed themselves two games later against the Spurs. Then three games later against the Spurs again. And then four games later against the Spurs again. And then five games later against the Spurs again. That's where the floor showed themselves. Even against the Detroit, the floors were still there. He had a great game in what was it, game five, right? Game yeah, five? that was in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then game and then game six, he, he wasn't great again. Against the Wizards, he wasn't particularly great. Against the Nets, he wasn't particularly great in terms of like his scoring and then, efficiency and then, because he couldn't really shoot. And like I'm not saying all oh, I'm not expecting a 22 year old to be the fully polished version of themselves. So that's why I'm not like I don't think it's a knock on him that he wasn't better than Steve Nash. Who to me was one of the five best players in the world. Like that's not a knock. He's 22. He's developing, but he had flaws offensively that teams could counter. Teams could attack. Steve Nash didn't have flaws offensively. There was no way you oh, take seven. away from Steve Nash on offense. He was 50, 40, 90 that season too, Mars. Right? Oh seven. Steve know. Nash. Steve Nash, Steve Nash right? I think Steve Nash. Oh, look. Oh, look. I don't know. I don't I'm think he was. Right. We, we do got to switch it up. We got to switch I, it I up. I do think okay. he was, though. I think he was 50 Yes, he was. He was 53, 45. I can't yeah. wait for Oh, 89.9, yeah. actually. So, no. Yeah, so I'm not. I mean, I don't agree with it, but I can't be mad at it because you're talking about the offensive. My man Chris said, I'm sorry, Jay Rob. I'm sorry. We we got to switch it up. My man Chris said, switch the topic to Sangoon versus Wimby matchup yesterday. Um. 
I love the Let's discourse. Talk about it. Let's start I, the discourse. Who is the best center in Texas, you know, baby? You, you, know what it is? Is. you know what it is. And I think it's interesting that he if Wimby would have done this, he, he, he cooked. He, he was. He should have. Oh, I mean, I mean but who else? Who, what other center in the NBA? What other team in the NBA is saying, you know what? This seven foot 15 guy that's averaging three and a half blocks a game, we're going to put our 6'11 center with a 6'10 wingspan. We're going to post him up. Over and over and over and over and over and over again until you stop it. Like, like no, no one, no one knew what to do. He was just in there, pump fake, reverse pivot, dime, finish. He he went with the pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, and then reverse dunk off of two, like off vert, no step into it whatsoever. Balls, he's, I was, I was really, wait, I was that was really, crazy. He's a dog. He's a dog. I, you, I think you missed your crew last night, Mars, because the action. Uh, I see, back. I see. Again? Oh, oh, you did watch it because I, I, I was, of course, I was watching the the, the the action off the basketball was just incredible. Like, all, all San Antonio was doing was turning their head, guys going back door, turning their head, guys going back door, guys turning their head, guys flaring mm. to the corner, and Singoon just finding them. Now, yeah. of course, we could say, Yo, Singoon was supposed to do that because let's not forget, Wimby is not in year five, he just showed up a couple months ago. Right. Now, let's make sure we clear on that. He just showed up a couple months ago. So technically, he's supposed to get his ass kicked a little bit more than what he's actually getting. So I'm actually surprised this hasn't been going on more with him. But he did get his ass kicked yesterday. 100% he did. Yeah, I mean, he got – he and I mean, he, he averages three and a half blocks per game. But we're not going to sit here and act like that's all when he's playing man-to-man post-defense. A lot of it's help yeah. side. I mean, he's – so long and he's got great timing and when he can be off ball that's when he's at his best as a rim protector um, but for a guy with with that kind of length to just get absolutely dogged by this flat-footed below the rim type player like it it, it, it didn't it didn't blow my mind just because I, I have faith in his game and i think like the only reason he doesn't stay on the floor all the time is because one conditioning and two he he might be the worst defensive center in the nba no, he might be. You, might, you haven't seen Sabonis. You Who? have not seen Sabonis. Shangun. I, I'd, I'd rather have Oh, Shane oh Goon well, what's my Shangun? What's Sabonis? Well, the face the center in the NBA? Yeah, Shangun. I'm okay with that. Oh, I love it. Shangun's one of my favorite know, players uh, in the league, no, but he's no, no, he can't no, move no. his feet. He, he's got no, pad motor. No, he doesn't get off the floor very much. Motor. That's just untrue. That's I love motor. I love. I love. He is not. He is not. Shout out to that motor talk. Even in the conversation, J. Rob, love that motor talk, yo. Shout out to that motor talk. I like you, Slim Dookie. That's what I like to hear. Motor. <laughs> Sangoon has a high motor, though. So, like, that, Sangoon has a high defensive. No, motor. no, he doesn't. He's, yes, he No, he does. doesn't. How does he not have a high motor? How he's does he have a high motor, Mars? Because yeah, of the scheme we run that has him playing at the level and trapping people and then what's rotating your, back to his man defi- requires a high motor. What's your definition of motor, Dookie? What's your, me- what's your liter- uh, The scheme we have with Sangoon requires him to have a high motor. The definition, definition of, of motor, motor Dookie. Definition of motor is trying hard when you aren't necessarily like a part of a play and whether, whether it's like, I mean, this is the, the, I guess the most basic one is like, who's getting on the floor for a loose ball. Right. Right. Who's, right. Who's, who's going to get, who's going to get that extra right. bump on a box out. Who's going to do those extra little things on both ends that aren't necessarily going to be quantified on a stat sheet. Fair. That's why it's hard to argue about motor, but for me, it's no, like, but he does it's an eye test. Things. You either, you got it or you I've, don't. I've watched him dive for loose balls many times this season. Many I've watched, times. I've watched Alperen Shangun watch a ball go up in the air so many times. And then someone flies in and either tips. I'm not arguing else, against his rebound. I'm, Rebounds, it's, you got me. A rebounding is the big motor. Uh, is yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm that's, that's, part of your that's motor fine, but then we can't say he doesn't have motor. I can say his rebounding is questionable. His rebound is can, questioning, questionable yeah, because he also, doesn't have I a good can, motor. But no, but I can also point out the fact that he's been dealing with a back injury for like a month. Okay, before, before his back injury fl- flared up, there was no motor issues. We can, we can, we can consult was film no from way before a back injury. Yeah, and I'm not saying there was, I'm not saying he was flawless. The only player I've seen with like a flawless motor is Boards and I'm Kevin Garnett. Or like Draymond Green. No one has yeah. a flawless motor. Of course, there's holes. I'm not arguing the fact that I'm not saying he's perfect, but to so say he has no motor is just flagrantly untrue. I mean, if, if you put Kevin Garnett as a 10 motor, where do you put Shangun? With one being bull bull. Like a six and a half. I'd put him at like a four. I mean, yeah, and, I, and then I would more. disagree with you. I, that's fine. That's fine. You know, I. I, I love I think I love Shangun. I'm as biased towards Shangun as as it gets. Um, but I just I can't I guess I'm not looking at him through Rockets goggles, but 
I, that's to me he his only lie. flaw. I, was, I, I just didn't know. I thought the only flaw for him was that he couldn't play drop coverage. I didn't know his only flaw was that he's been he's been he decent shoot. in drop coverage this year. Like he's not been yeah. terrible. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, been great. that's why he's had the at least first half of the season he had those bloated uh, defensive rating numbers. He was like like top eight, I think. But that's not rating. because that's not because of drop. That's because he was playing at the level when he played and drop because his back was high. Our uh, defense suffered, but um, I, I think Sengun's flaws defensively is definitely not. I mean, I could be like, Oh, look at the chase down blocks he gets. I mean, that's a sign of motor, like, he's willing to get back in transition. That's why our transition defense is so good, in part because of him. Sengun is always quick to get back in transition, um, mm. he's always quick to make rotations. He does get called for some questionable fouls on him, which isn't great, but he's always willing to be that backline help if he's needed. Um, it's very rare that he just will stay on his man and not help at the rim, even if he's not the best rim protector. But he's willing to put his body in places that many other people wouldn't. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I don't, I didn't know motor was an issue with Sengun. Uh, I, Fellas, yeah, I, I, aside from Sengun's motor, can we talk about the fact that he ate Wimby's lunch last night? Now, <laughs> Wimby had seven blocks. Yeah, let's let's let's, let's don't don't leave, don't leave that part out. Like let's like six of them were on Sengun, but I mean Sengun just kept coming. So right. Back. That's why I was smacking it back. He got, blo- he got blocked on the first play of the game. And then Sangoon just went crazy in the second half. Got blocked right. about four more times, but just kept <clears throat> basically just kept pushing Wemby around and then just hoping and he, he didn't stick to contest. That's what it was. And on top of that, Moss, he didn't stay on the perimeter. Like he kept going downhill at oh, yeah. Wemby. He kept going downhill at Wemby. It wasn't like he got his shot blocked and like, all right, I'm going to drag this big guy away from the basket. I'm going to see if I can get something open. In the mid range, maybe maybe even at the long ball line. No, he kept going downhill and kept coming at Wimby. Wimby kept smacking it back in his face, but he kept coming at him. So, and Sengun's footwork is impeccable, by the way. Some of, some of the, merchant. Yeah, some of, if he spins baseline, like he got you every time. I like he said he got it from Jokic. I can see because that like he's he he been he been doing that for for a minute now. We already like, know where he got it from. He say he 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 actually liked it from Yoki, but we know where he got it from. He got it from Olajuwon. That's what well, he was doing. He he was doing it in Turkey though. Like it's not as polished. So I mean, yeah, you could definitely say give Hakeem credit, but he was like yeah. that was his go-to even like when in, he was in Turkey. In in so. Turkey, like that obviously that that baseline spin, but he was like athletic enough to not have to do that much to get buckets over there mm-hmm. in the NBA. He's doing everything. Like he he is at such a physical disadvantage. Um, obviously, he's big, and that's his his biggest, I guess, uh, strength physically on the floor is the fact that he's got a strong base. Like he's a lot of these European guys are like that, and that's why they're just kind of slow and methodical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it just he can just lean on you and get to the spots that he wants to get to. And it's just a matter of whether he's going to score or not. Because if he catches within eight feet of the hoop, he's going to dribble. He's going to meander on down there with little. Ba- whether it's a baseline spin or he just ducks that shoulder on a half spin and like goes back middle and then he's pumped. This thinking. half spin is cold. <sighs> that just that little shoulder dip and mm-hmm. he just like bumps you with that backside hip and then boom, he's back onto the middle already. Like it's he's 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 maybe the most talented. Uh, I don't want, I gotta be careful of what I say here, uh, but I, I think he's one of the most, I guess, tactical post players, maybe one of the better isolation post players, excuse me, in the league. Yeah. Big Ox, just so you know, you know the, the talks are going to start again. So it was better than Sabonis. He's a top five center in the league. I'm just saying. That's, it, it, that's it, all right. Sabonis, uh, Sagoon, Sagoon's, Sagoon's dope. So he is. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at him. Yes, he, he got. Yes, he got. He got, like, he got real footwork on the block. Counter moves. Everything. He got nice touch. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of. That's the type of big man I like to see. I'm. I'm excited for. I'm excited that he's around. You know what I'm saying? He, he's gonna. He's gonna give us some good basketball for a long time. So. I'm, I'm happy to see that young man. Am I building ball. that unit around I'm him? Not, I, you should. I'm. I'm not too. I'm uh, not too. I'm not. It's not being good so. to me that he cooked Wimby though. Like, yeah, I mean, I just yeah, enjoyed watching it. I, I just think it was great to watch. I don't like, think it like is indicative of something. Yeah, I don't think it has think like it crazy was, implications or anything. But I do think yeah. it was great to watch. And so I, think, I, I, I mean, it's I, I, a, a shit ton anything of that anything that 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 that's like what this, like what to me. I've already been on it. I already already think he's an incredible center. I already think he's probably the main piece that they're building around in Houston right now. He was, he got drafted as a second round guy, huh? No, 16th pick, 16th pick. Oh, sorry. 16th pick. But I I mean, I don't think anyone thought anything of him. I mean, I know I didn't, I I saw him. I was like, who is this guy? Like maybe he'll be a, like a stretch five. And and he was shooting threes in summer league when he first got drafted. And I don't know if he was even considered a part of the rebuild, kind of like an afterthought. And then looking at it now, 
who else are they building around? He's to me, he's the only untouchable guy on that roster. Truly. And so if you're looking at rebuilding, just from a rebuild perspective, who else on that roster is untouchable? I mean, how how Amen well Thompson. what do you think about what about Amen Thompson? Are you not high on his potential? Oh, sorry, yeah, no, I'm, as... I'm I'm high on him, but I mean, what it like if if the the rebuild gets ahead of schedule and Thompson mm-hmm. is not there yet, and you need a win now point guard, might be sticking with Fred. Might look to dish amen for other win now pieces. Yeah, come on, pause. give me a break. Give me a break. Give if me a break about Fred. Oh, right, to stick right. with Fred if you, if you, and trade to the men Thompson, that yeah, is the most yeah, incompetent yeah, franchise I've ever seen. I'm saying smart. if you, it depends on who's getting. It depends on who you're getting. It's not about who's better. It's not about who's better. Who has better potential? It's about team needs. That's all basketball is. Yeah, but I don't think Fred is servicing. But Fred is not. I don't think Fred is accelerating your clock like what you think he is. I'm not saying Fred is doing that. I'm saying if if say you have a really good draft and you get another guy that takes you to a win now type point or or you have a good off season we don't know what's going to happen next year but fred's hey, definitely, about fred's definitely not a hindrance no I'm he's not, not. Saying he's a hindrance right now a man is not going to win you realism, realism, man, realism of our timeline accelerating to win yeah now. I, I mean Nick, I'm, yeah it's that's, very very low like it's, it's hypothetical it's hypothetical yeah, it's, yeah, hypothetical. it's, not, it's not gonna happen so like you never saying know. Saying happen you know, though, say, I mean, like, say, happen. A, a lot of a lot of stuff. Like, saying a man Thompson is untouchable until maybe we need to win now moves, and then maybe he's touchable. Pause. Like, but we're not. We they're not gonna be in a win now position. So we know a man Thompson isn't gonna get traded in any. <laughs> nah, situation. you can't move a man because there's nothing that's gonna happen that's gonna accelerate Houston's timeline. That's why it's a hypothetical, Mars. But if, like, if a man develops, it's like, it's like, it's like saying Wemby's. It's like when if I say Wemby's untouchable. Unless you offer me Luka, Jokic, and someone else, like, sure, but like that. That's not going to accelerate exist. your timeline, though. That's like, that not trade would, like trade would never exist. So like, a Men Thompson is a touch, but the tra- the no. only scenario in which you can see a Men Thompson being traded isn't a scenario that's gonna happen. You don't so know that. Is I mean, I mean, I I heard him say like, hey, if a Men Thompson develops his jumper over the summer. That to me, that's as crazy as saying that they're not going to get to a, and a that, win that now. Is, he's not going to be within the next shoot. two or three years. He's not going to be able to shoot. But I mean, as a coach, I think you're wrong on that, Moss. I do. Nah, I, think I don't agree with that I, either. I, I think you're wrong, Moss. I, I think they got a I lot think. of good pieces. There's no signs of shooting from him. I'm sorry. No, what I'm saying is, but what I'm saying is though is I watched and listen. I'm not saying he's going to come next year and be a 38 or 37 percent three ball shooter. You know, at all. I don't think that's going to be. But I think. My whole thing is watching, and this is and this is just from watching Scotty Barnes development. The young players right now are so malleable; they're like they're they're just like clay. I feel like if a man focuses maybe just on his mechanics, getting something that's just more serviceable, I think for what his athleticism is, and I think you know what his playmaking already is at his age. If it's just serviceable, Mars, I think the I think y'all take a a leap next year now, not to win now. But I think your team as a the whole, the aim next year will be better. playing or playoffs. The aim next year that would be the aim. Yeah, yeah, and but I like, think y'all become a more a great team just with a. And this doesn't again if he's shooting it 33 percent, maybe thirty four percent from three, and he's not taking that many a night. I don't know. Like I'm not. I I think because he's so young, you can develop just because I've seen the improvement in Scotty Barnes, and that's just clear indication of him just getting in the gym shooting and then obviously confidence becomes the other component of it because your confidence it matters in that and look a man thompson behind closed doors mars he's probably could hit 20 33 straight oh you know it's, no you I don't think so, I I don't think so in a closed you know, job, i, I, I promise that. i promise you like i know like what we say is like you no know i'm trying to say though right yeah, like, i know i know it's like even MB, like even in an empty gym ben simmons can make jumpers like i know right what, I know right what right yeah 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 <laughs> Man, uh, open Thompson open is, gym I mean, Ben Simmons is a little different, Mars. A man Thompson Yo, is the exception to that ideology. Open you don't gym, think so? he's, he's still can't okay. Shoot. I've watched okay, him in okay. workouts. I've watched him. He, okay, he can't okay. Shoot. Well, this, well, this like, is the thing, though. So, like, wait, can, you, I, can I just you, say one no, thing? Go ahead, go ahead, Mars. Go ahead, Mars. I understand what J Rob's saying about even if he just gets to 30, 32 percent. Right. The issue is if he goes to 30, 32 percent, that's doubling his three point percentage right now. Yeah, I see. Yeah, like, do you know how much of an improvement? He's at fourteen yeah. percent. No, I get you. I get you. And we don't you. guard him. Like so every Mars, play he takes what, what is you... just wide open. Let right. him shoot, and he only right. makes fourteen percent. Right. He's right. so right. far from being below average. Right. right. That like what's there's no sign. You don't think? Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm not bad at that. But wait a minute, though, J Rob. But wait a minute, though, J Rob. This is not a situation like you just mentioned, Mars. There's no sign of him getting better. Well. There's no sign of him getting better right now. He's 19 years old, Mars. This he's could be a mechanics bro. issue. He's it, it, is, it is a mechanics issue. It, it, no, I, I it think it, I, sure. I, it's, it's a mechanics issue. We watched Lonzo Ball 
turn his mechanics around. We watched yep. him become. Yeah, but Alonso Ball could shoot though. Oh, that jump shot was garbage when he first no, showed the up. jump shot was terrible. <laughs> the jump shot was trash. Yeah, the jump the jump shot was the problem. Like the we can, right. everyone who watched Lonzo at UCLA knew that jump shot wasn't going to translate to the league. We right. knew it was going to have to change, but we right. knew Lonzo could shoot. And then Thompson has bad mechanics, but can't shoot. Like well, I don't. Is this is is what I'm asking? Not, do you guys do you guys think that anyone who's in a gym? Can just figure out how to shoot. If you're in the gym long enough, no, no, no. I think you need a coach. Go. No, you're gonna need a coach. There's somebody. Right. Listen, Mars. It is going to be a project to fix that jumper. He's going to have to get a shooting coach. It is going to be. Come on, Unc, you know how it is trying to change right. your jumper. It's going to be ugly. Right. It's going to be a lot of bricks in the gym. It is going right. to be a lot of bricks in the gym. But so it already is bricks I, in that gym, Jay. Right. But all I'm saying, Mars, it's really, and this is why. This is why I just think that this is where the athlete in me is talking because it's really about what a man puts in and gets out of it. Like if a right. man puts the work in he may not improve next year to because you're right going from 14 to even 30 to 32 percent is a massive jump but if he can go from 14 this year to let's just say and you still might think this is a lot because it might be 10 percent. let's say he goes to 20 28 that yeah. means there's still there's still some improvement and then by the third fourth year what if he does get to 34 so all i'm saying is because i believe in a men's other tools i think you give him the two three year window to get the other parts of his game going because I'm, I'm it's going to take some it. summers. It might take two three summers. You don't have to tell me. I'm pushing the Amen Thompson train. Yeah, right. I'm just pushing the, the train with the knowledge that he's not going to be able to shoot. Right, right. I'm right. not of the belief that if you just work hard enough, you're going to be able to shoot because I think mm -hmm. that takes away from the talented shooters that exist. That's I don't right. think no matter how hard Andre Robeson worked, he was going to ever be able to shoot. I just think the shooting is a skill that you can improve on and you can have talent right. and you can improve and work on and then become better than what you were. But I don't think you go from as bad as a men Thompson to serviceable. I don't I, think I, 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 the I, I, only example that ever happened is like Jason thing. Kidd. That's the but only it's, example it's I can a, think of. I mean, Brooke Lopez, you said, you said, degree, you said it's a mechanical thing. But he thing. had a mid-range jumper. He had free throw touch. He had things. Brooke right. has for real. You said it's a mid-range He has no floater. He has no, his touch around the rim in terms of anything that isn't just below the rim, like touch on floaters, runners, any of that, bad. He can't make free throws. And there's no mid range, like there's so no base. There's no base. You said it's mechanical, right? You said it's mechanical, right? If it's a mechanical, I think some thing, of it is mechanical. Okay, some of it is just so a lack of. So listen, thing. Look, if you you said I heard what you said a, a little bit ago, right? Like, yes. if a guy if a guy has bad mechanics, but he's mm -hmm. able to shoot it, it's different. Or he's able to make it, it's different. See, I disagree with that. I feel like if I have bad mechanics, that means I'm doing it all wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm doing I'm doing it all wrong. So once you tweak something so light, it could be something I don't know what his mechanical issues are, but it could be something as quick as bad as having a hitch here and then yep. shoot with your elbow out. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. boom! You you bring your elbow in, you catch the ball here, you shoot it from here instead of shooting it from here or here or down low. You shoot it from here. You bring your elbow in. That changes your your shot. It's not the same thing at all. So going from fourteen percent to thirty percent is more realistic than him going from fourteen to twenty because what you're changing is so drastic in your shot. It's gonna, it's gonna, and it's not gonna happen overnight, of course. But like J Rob said, the athlete, the athlete mind in me What's is like, well, I'm in the gym, I'm in the gym knocking gym down a thousand, day. I'm in the gym knocking down a thousand a day. I'm not shooting like this anymore. I'm catching right. back, catching back straight different. up. Now my shot is way different. It's not gonna happen in two weeks, but mm -hmm. give me give me eight months. My jump shot looks way different. And it's it's in and on top of that, and on top of that, now I'm working, now I'm working under the rim. I'm not just shooting threes. I'm working mm -hmm. under the rim. I'm getting I'm getting my touch right. I'm yeah. getting my touch. So it's like I, I'm I might just be balling off pure athleticism with zero touch, zero zero proper form. I'm shooting my elbow pointed over that way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm actually shooting the ball when I was just throwing it up at the rim. It's, can, it's a completely different thing. Can I also just good, add one other thing to what Ox was saying as well? Is like Again, I agree with the athlete mindset because I believe in repetition and muscle memory over time. I think that truly does exist. My only thing to you, Mars, as well, is like this lack of optimism of a men Thompson's growth. If they're going to be guarding him within the free throw line, then, you know, some of what Slim is kind of saying might come to existence because he might not be a player worth keeping around. Like, I think it is important for, for him to develop some level of jumper. Something, some level of jumper, because 
if you believe that in his third or fourth year, and this is just me speaking from my opinion, that he's not going to improve. And let's just say by year four, he's a 26 or 24% three point shooter and his jumpers and stuff are still, his true shooting is still down. Then I don't know. If he's a, he yeah, I don't know if he's, he's not to You know what he, I'm he, saying? He becomes, he becomes very, sure. yeah, yeah, he becomes very expendable. And so that's mm-hmm. my fear with this kid. That's why I have such an optimism about his growth. Mars is because, I know that, but he already possesses, if he can just get something that, shit, a defense, excuse my language, I'm sorry, that a defense doesn't have to sag all the way to the free throw line of him, or he can make one or two and get into a groove where defenses can play him more honest, I think the sky is the limit. You know, he may be Mars, a you- career 33% three-point shooter for his career, but it, Mars, I just, just I truly you- feel it can't, it can't be no jumper for the rest. I don't think that survives in today's game at the point of guard. Um, that point of our position. He needs to reason. his floor needs to be TJ McConnell as as a perimeter player. That's where his floor needs to be in order for him to be effective. Just like well, Mars, if you, you leave me, I'll I'll take it. I'll knock it down. Yeah, Sorry, well, chill. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mars, you just brought it up. I mean, you just brought up like he can't be Andre Robeson. He can't be that guy. There's no way he can, as good a defender as Andre Robeson was, who was complete liability, right? And when you talk about his mechanics, if you put his mechanics next to, was he as bad as Michael Kick Gilbert's? I don't think he was that no. bad. I mean, Thompson. His no. the ball doesn't move fast enough. He starts his upward I, 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 motion I before the ball. I, I, guess, I, 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 I don't. I don't, I, think, I don't think his mechanics were that bad. So when I think about a guy that young, 20, 21 years, I thought he was because I know he just came into the league. I thought he yeah, was like 18, 19 years. Old. So, 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 so even so even at twenty one years old, we could change his mechanics to the point where he can at least know how to shoot. Then we can develop the skill, right? Then we can develop the skill and move forward from there, as opposed to. We're just gonna leave it as it is and just accept him being a I don't know twenty one percent long ball. I'm, no, I'm not saying they're gonna leave it. I'm saying they're gonna work. I guess the disagreement we will have mm. is my belief that shooting isn't something you just work on and then you become a good shooter. So no, we gotta teach you how I, to do. It. I believe I believe there's a natural proficiency to yeah. shooting. So can yeah. we go back I don't to think no matter how hard down. Russell Westbrook worked? He was ever going to become a good three point shooter. I don't, right. I don't, I, I was one of the people who believed Giannis was never going to be able to shoot because I don't, mm. I don't think shooting is just something you lock yourself in the gym with the right Thank people you. and all of a sudden you can shoot. I think that takes away from the actual great shooters and the talent in which they have. I think it's mm-hmm. disrespectful to the great right. shooters that along with the hard work, they have the natural proficiency. So you don't think he's, so you don't think the talent, I, I, is gen, there, I genuinely the find it. I find yeah. it disrespectful that we just believe bad shooters can just work mm-hmm. hard and become not bad. I think shooting, just like and anything you can else, improve, is a, is a, improvement yeah, is I, I'm not arguing against improvement. My, right. I'm not saying the men's going to be 14% forever. My argument is that I disagree that someone can go from as bad as a men Thompson with no baseline of anything positive. There's not one shining light that you can be like, we can build with this. You have to start from rags. From nah, from so, so, so wait, wait, wait. And, after- hope and hope he can become average or below average. Not only have I never seen that before, I think it takes away from the actual skill of shooting, the talent of shooting that people genuinely have. I think Steph Curry can naturally shoot the ball. And then alongside 100%. all the hard work he's put in, he's become yeah. the greatest shooter of all time. Giannis could work as hard as Steph Curry on shooting. I don't think he'd ever he will be, never be a Curry. He will never be shooting that good. Is now a talent. Time. Shooting is a talent the same way athleticism is a talent. No so matter about, how hard Duncan Robertson trains by a different degrees, though. Yeah, different I, I'm what about 2020 Rondo? No though. matter how hard Duncan Robertson trains plyometrics and gets on that Vertimax, he will never be a Men Thompson as an athlete. He will never be able to do that because he doesn't have the ability to do it. I that's how I feel about a Men Thompson as a yeah, but soon as soon as that's not how shooting works, though. That's, that's not how shooting works. Of course, Steph, Steph Curry's not a reason, natural shooter. He grew up in the gym, he was in the gym since he was this big. He he's able to shoot because his dad, his dad, his natural well, his dad taught him how to shoot the ball since he was a baby. He didn't, he's like, not he had a, he's natural a, depth perception. He's not a natural mean. shooter. His dad taught him how to I shoot disagree. the ball because he, yeah, I disagree. Uh, that's I fine. Disagree. It's wrong, bro. You, you're not, yeah, you yeah, know, you're not born a shooter. The only physical thing you're born a shooter, I'm saying you're born with the skills. No, no, that's not true. That's not if Thompson had Del Curry as a father, he'd be a great shooter. A skill like depth perception is something that you can't teach. You can't teach someone depth perception. You can't teach that. Either oh you God, have it or you don't. Thinking, okay, okay, Mars, but you just teach- have bad depth perception. In my opinion, if you disagree, you disagree. I don't like. That's fine. I don't so you realize I, you realize the reason Giannis isn't like a as you would call a fit like a, a, a physically gifted or naturally talented shooter isn't because like he just wasn't born. Like it's because there's more variables. When your arms are seven foot four 
when that's your wingspan, there's more to control. There's more variables. That's yeah. true. That's mm-hmm. true. But Amen Thompson is not seven feet tall. Amen Thompson doesn't have a seven four wingspan. Mm-hmm. There's no like obviously I think confidence is a big part of it. Con- like confidence is everything in shooting. You can be perfect mechanically and just doing something that you feel more confident in will completely change how you are as a shooter. Look at Mason Plumley shooting left-handed free throws. Uh, Sohan shooting one-handed, but like anyone, I I do believe anyone can learn how to shoot. It just, it's, it's how much do you really want to change? I mean, people talk about Ben Simmons all the time. um, And the word about Ben behind closed doors is that he doesn't want to change. He doesn't want to do anything different. I genuinely think he doesn't. I don't, I don't. What's slim? My, my, uh, my, my my uh my cord headed on me my 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 uh my joint unplugged so I didn't really hear what what Mars has said after that but what I'm saying is uh I'm still going back to my my original point you're not born a shooter it's not like I, 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 go, I know I know what you're saying I know what you're saying the, the depth perception or whatever you were saying like I I I got you but you like you, you have to be taught to shoot the ball now there are some there are some kids that you know you can see the kids running around like a half a half time you know when you go to the high school games or something like that and you see the, you see somebody's little brother or the coach's son or daughter running around they're throwing it up there like yeah some some kids are born and they're stronger more athletic than the other ones so they get how to throw the ball in the rim they can do that so maybe that could be um something like yeah that's a that's a shooter yeah he's just he got kind of got there quicker than everybody else but you have to be taught how to shoot the basketball um and in making 500 threes a day especially when you have the time and uh you're in the proper facilities making making shooting shooting 5,000 shots in a week that does something for your jump shot for anybody for anybody you 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 know what i'm saying you nobody nobody's just a natural shooter steph curry is the best shooter in the world because he was in the gym since he was since he was walking and his dad is a, was even, a hell of a shooter so. I, I don't think I don't, I don't think mars is saying being a natural shooter i think mars's issue is the natural talent isn't fair yeah, that's well, why like, i think I'm that's not, where I'm he's not saying going you come out the and room I, and, I, I, and i think with a guy like i think a guy like i think a guy like steph curry well steph curry okay him, he wasn't born he wasn't and he wasn't born a shooter. The talent was there for him to improve on that skill. Once we, once we, once we learn it. Now, Amin Thompson, for example, I don't think anybody ever taught him how to shoot. I don't think he ever learned mm-hmm. how to actually shoot the basketball in terms of mechanics, in terms of how to go straight up and straight down, where mm-hmm. your feet are supposed to be. I don't think anybody ever taught him that. Does that mean that the talent wasn't there? Well, it's clearly there because he's at that level, playing at the pro level. So it's clearly something there. So now we're maybe behind the eight ball because of how far he's how far he's gone. So now we could basically got to rip up whatever game plan we had from him in the past, and we got to teach him like the Matrix, like you now using your eyes for the first time. You've never used your eyes before. Now we got to show him how where his form is, put his elbow where his knee is, not put it, align his elbow with his knee with, with, with your guide hand, because this hand is the only the only reason why the only reason why this hand is here is just to hold up the ball. It has nothing to do with your shot. With your hand, your your thumb should be right in your eye. This is what your form should look like. Things like that. I think that we can teach him that as opposed to just saying the talent isn't there well we don't know if the talent isn't there because i don't think anybody ever taught him how to do it fellas we do got to move on what's up jay rock no no go ahead i don't want to hold you up we i do do mars has has it has it ever like have you have you been taught like have you have you is there (laughs) is there like a report that he has bad depth perception no but i will say okay first of all before i was I, right, found a, I, 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 I found an article that proves Jalen Green has small hands, by the way. Found that. So I was right. <laughs> but 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 second secondly, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying I have proof that he has bad depth perception. There's also other factors other than depth perception. I'm, that was just one example I'm using. And I'm not saying that you come out the womb and you can shoot 40% from three. I'm not saying that, mm-hmm. but I am saying there are natural skills that can't be taught that will typically breed good shooters if they put in the right work and they work hard enough. So, so mm-hmm. things like depth perception, things like coordination, things like mm-hmm. balance, those type of things that are natural, that can be improved upon, but the best shooters tend to be outliers in those regards that you can't make someone as good, have as good hand, have, have as good coordination as Steph Curry. You can't teach someone to have as good depth perception as Steph Curry. You can't teach those things. So even if Steph Curry didn't work as hard as he does, he would still be able to shoot the ball. He wouldn't be the greatest shooter because you still have to put the work in on top of that. What I'm saying is a man Thompson can work as hard as Steph Curry, but his ceiling as a shooter will automatically be capped by the lack of natural proficiency he has for shooting the ball, in my opinion. Now, if you think he doesn't have the lack of natural proficiency and you think he just hasn't been taught or you think he just isn't being taught the right ways and then you think he can figure out, 
I think that's great optimism. I just don't, I don't think there's a sign of that. I, I, I don't think there's a sign of that. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you just come out and you could just shoot regardless. Mm -hmm. I am saying there's natural skills that go into being able to shoot. The same way there's natural skills that being able to go into being able to run fast or having great vision or understanding. Like you can't teach someone to see the game like Jokic. No matter how, no matter how much mm -hmm. film you show them, no matter how many situations you put them in, they won't be able to see the game like Jokic because that's something Jokic just has. It's an innate ability that you can't teach. I think shooting is like that. I think touch around the rim is something you can't teach. You can't teach someone to have touch like Dirk or touch like Jokic. You can't teach those things. Like those you are things that you can touch, touch around the rim, Morris. You can't teach touch around the rim. You, like, you, you, know, you, 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 you can't teach it to the degree that these great players have. You No matter how hard someone else works, they won't have touch like Jokic. I'm not saying they can't improve. and I'm not saying they can't work on it. I'm not saying they can't go from bad to good. But what I am saying is the top level of these athletes, the top level of these guys, you can't teach the abilities they have. And I think it's disrespectful to the ability they have to act like you can just teach someone who has no ability to be of that level. That's so, all I'm saying. So he's on touch. I think that's, I think that's, I think that's, I think that's, yeah, and that's I think why we disagree. And no, I think, it, I think it is, I think to, there's some merit. Yeah, after after this, J-Rob, fellas, we got to move on. Yeah, Go ahead, J-Rob. I'll, I'll, I'll be quick. I'll be quick. I'll be quick. I think there is merit to what, Mars is saying, I think there can be physical limitations to who you are, but I also think high level athletes can still improve upon their weak weaknesses where it's going to be clearly better than the mere mortal, but it may not be as good as the upper echelon in that, in the category, for example, shooting. And the reason why I believe though, that a man Thompson can improve to maybe just average, which would be a significant improvement to where he is right now yeah, is because right. just, you know, okay, well, I'm okay. I understand. Okay. Maybe, maybe he may not be 37. He may be slightly below average, but where he at is absolutely abysmal. So yeah. anything other there, anything above that is better than where he's where he's at right now. And I and I could go back to just you know I'm going to use a personal e example just because you know this is why I believe that athletes can improve. For myself, I played cornerback in college. For anybody who knows what football is, cornerback is a position that requires you to have quick feet. However, I played the position at six foot two, six foot three. If anybody knows, most corners is playing between 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 6 foot 5'9". What that also means is that they usually have naturally better feet, quicker feet because they're lower proximity to the ground as opposed to taller guys like myself who have to go into a closed gym and work on my feet and be very uncomfortable because you have to bend in different ways. You have to find the ability to be quick. And by my second year at UConn, I was starting at nickel. Nickel, you're guarding slot receivers who have two-way goals in the field. Now, Mars, I know you, you. I'm probably talking. I'm, I'm trying to keep up. I, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to. But oh it's a Mars, he has to the deal nickel. with the striker. That's what he yeah. got to deal yeah, with. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm following along with the skills that he said he yeah, needs to develop. So the skills needed to why play the position that I play, it have to do with your, you have to do with your feet. And so the, the slot position in, in football the the advantage is 100 to the wide receivers because they have a two-way go there's more space and so your feet have to be great and when i got to college i was below average in terms of my quickness i was playing corner all of physical athleticism height and natural god-given talent but against better players that wasn't going to work so i had to improve upon my my weaknesses now my feet would have will never be to the level of some of my teammates it never was there however my feet were serviceable for what other gifts I already had because they were good enough to get me out of breaks because of the fact that I had long arms. I had a big frame. So I had things that made up for my deficiencies. Right. And so when I look at a man Thompson, his deficiencies, his weaknesses just can't be something that can be consistently exploitable. It can't be something where, you know, even if he becomes a streaky three point shooter, you know, the scouting report could be, you know, don't let a man see one go in because he can be streaky at times, which is better than let's stand at the free throw line and let him shoot as many things as he's want, as he wants. So, you know, I, I just believe that athletes can improve, but they'll never be the best at what they're trying to improve on. It's just better than where they're at because you don't want other teams to just be able to ex exploit that weakness Nobody. all day. Nobody saying that J. Rob had to be Deion Sanders. That wasn't the standard. No, right, absolutely not. Nobody saying that you got to be Steph Curry. No, just get the okay. job Yo. done. Just get the you got to be able to get the job done. Yeah, right. exactly. Mars, in what year did John Wall be considered a respectable shooter or service? Well, I, ooh, I'd say right. never, but I mean, I guess I'm. Let's look. Never, Mars. Never. I mean, well, well, remember. Three? Remember, yeah, that's the men's floor. I'm so. not even talking about three, Mars. I'm just talking about just just the guy you have to respect that he can knock down a 15 to 18 foot. I ain't oh, talking about getting a, a down jumper. Oh, by like, yeah. 
Like he showed up in 2010. 2015. It was at least 15. At least 2015. So about five years, probably. He was respectable I, in the mid range. From from mid range, from three, I don't think he was ever respectable. I think teams were always living with John Mosher and thirds. Right. Hey, he shot 37 percent and 35 percent. Shot 35 percent twice. Uh, and then other than that, it's all pretty close to 30. But I mean, I think if you're even like around 30, 32, like that's respectable. That's a number that I don't want to just live with all game. Maybe in certain situations, maybe you're comfortable with him coming off the dribble and shooting that, but like catch and shoot, like you, I don't, there's not a lot of dudes in the NBA that will take a catch and shoot three that you shouldn't at least run out at, but teams let Josh Giddy shoot and he's at 33%. Absolutely. The whole game plan is, and they should, plan. yeah, he's let him shoot. He's let him... definitely a liability, 100%. and it works. And none of these guys started from where Amen Thompson started. At. Like John Wall could lose least, games. John Wall could at least make free throws. Like there was, like that's my point. There's something that you're starting with. You're starting with nothing. With hey, you, you're that's you're arguing so true. hard against a guy that you just called a. Uh, what was the word? No, because I believe I believe in his talent, and I believe in what he can be. With the belief that he's not going to be able to shoot, I'm hiring him. So he's the main ex- rebuild point in Houston and not no I don't good? I don't think there is a main rebuild point I think you've got six young players and you let them develop together and then you see what you've got in about two years you don't you don't think Shangun is is clearly just like hey we gotta no, build around no, this guy because, no because his defense yeah. is such in question that two years from now with the bigs that we're defense, gonna have running around the league de- maybe you don't want Shangun as your building block maybe that doesn't mean he like right now he's clearly the front runner to build around but if I had to yeah. trade the other five and build with Sangoon, I'm not saying I would do that. I'm saying we got a young core where no one is older than 22. I think Tarisen is 23 in May. So no one is older than 22. We can build with all six of them for about two years until we have to start paying people. And then we see what we have. And then we build with who we've got after that point. But there's no need for us to rush into a decision. We're building with this guy. And then we start sacrificing this young player's development because he doesn't fit with Sangoon. Like, I don't think Sangoon is good enough yet to justify trading any of the six young, there are five other young guys who may not fit with him when there's still questions about how you build a championship team with him. That's what I'm saying. That doesn't mean he's not the front runner or he might not end up being the one they build with. But what I'm saying is there's still room for, there's question marks where you don't have to, we don't have to answer the questions right now. That's it. We, can, we can delay That's, the question. That was a That's hypothetical. It. If All I had right, to guess, I think Sengun would be the answer if I had to guess, but yeah. We we do have to move on. Uh, we got beef in the chat too. Um, y'all peeping and see what they cook. And I don't know, you know, with beef, you can cook a lot of different things. I don't know if they cook a hamburger helper. I don't know if they're cooking burgers, but it's something going on down there. There's <laughs> something cooking in the chat. Shout out to the chat, by the way. Uh, What's your favorite hamburger helper? If, you, if what? What's your favorite hamburger helper? Bacon cheeseburger. The, the original hamburger helper. Bacon cheeseburger. That's stroganoff. That's stroganoff. Bacon cheeseburger. Hey, that's, that's, that's the bro. only hamburger helper I acknowledge. Right. I mean, the other Yo, ones is cool. In college, there was a lot of hamburger yeah. helper in college. Tier a list, lot Facts, of J-Rob. J-Rob. I need a tier list. <laughs> a lot of them. Yeah. Hey, J-Rob, I'm coming straight helper, back from, from practice. Right, <laughs> hey, right on the stove. Immediately bro, turning it off. I swear to God, I would eat some hamburger helper today if there was a box in the crib. I'm like, wait, I'm like, wait, for real. <laughs> Let's make some chicken tetrazzini tonight, fellas. What do you say? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Now I'm craving. Some y'all that. tripping? If y'all tripping, if you're not saying the stroganoff, that's for sure the best. Stroganoff is good is, too, but bacon is clear. Clear. You see, I, I eat my stroganoff, hamburger stroganoff with just mad ketchup though, like. Yeah, I put ketchup on mine too. I put ketchup, oh, well, I put ketchup on your stroganoff. I put ketchup on all, 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 all that. Ham, all, Did he just say that stuff? We're going the other way. You put no, good hot sauce right. on all hamburger helper. Bro. All Yo, you got to throw ketchup on the hamburger helper. Hot sauce, right. no doubt. Ketchup? Hot sauce and yeah, ketchup. Is I, I, I went to school in Ohio, and I saw some people do some crazy stuff, bro, like ketchup on eggs, like people putting mayonnaise on stuff. Put mayonnaise ketchup on mayonnaise does not belong, eggs? bro. No. I never heard, uh, I never heard ketchup somebody say they put ketchup on beef stroganoff. Ketchup on eggs is not normal. I put ketchup on everything. I put ketchup on my tacos, bro, so... Come on. Oh yeah, he's wilding. He's wilding. Yeah, he lost me. I don't get Straight that. Straight wilding, Jay Rob. What we doing right now? What's happening? Yeah, right now? Just put ketchup in your cereal, huh? <laughs> nah, you tripping. He's out. <laughs> All right, y'all. But this is a good time to acknowledge uh, everybody that's liked the video. Shout out to you. If you haven't, go ahead and slap that like button. Once again, I was shouting out the chat because if you could see it's a little more lively than it's been, that's because our memberships have changed. You can chat now for $1.99, but if you do got the $4.99 membership, it will give you access to go back and watch 
these crazy playbacks that we've been doing. You mm -hmm. will have access to the archives of all the crazy playbacks, not just the previous ones, but the ones in the future that we're going to do too. And yes, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The clack or the, the chat clears by a mile, by a mile. The chat, clears. shout out to the chat, not even close. Also, too, um, I'm still undefeated against the chat, though. Even if it's got a truth it. to that, too. Now, There's a lot of truth to that. Eat it now. <laughs> hey, so, chill, you put Mayweather to the chat? That's what, absolutely. For 50 and 0. <laughs> 50 and 0. That's right. 50 and 0. 50 and 0. That's right. So, uh, if you love the chat so much that you would like the chat when the chat's not live, you should join the Telegram community group mm -hmm. where we talk not just basketball, but J-Rob. What else we be talking in? We talking mm -hmm. betting. We talking March Madness, football, NFL. Actually, right now in this Telegram right here, I put a link to join the By Any Means Players Choice March Madness bracket for this upcoming March Madness. So the link is already in there. It's a public March Madness. So make sure y'all go in. I'm taking the Huskies to go back to back. You already know the vibes. Mm -hmm. That's my alma mater. But make sure y'all dive into them chats. They be lit, you know, open gym links be in there, open field links be in there. So if you want to join the community, it's definitely worth jumping into. It's pinned right up there at the top of the chat. Also, we had a we had a new show yesterday. Did y'all y'all tap in? I didn't yeah, see it. My no. dog, Dalen Carter. I seen Dub getting cooked by Gifted. <laughs> <laughs> Which he predicted. Oh, no, 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 historically bad the night before uh <laughs> the night before mars did he get yeah, roasted J Rob? Yo, was it was, was, was it straight rotisserie run right now he's on a was it straight rotisserie right J Rob? Run right now huh? <laughs> yeah the, the dub fall off is interesting i mean yo, yo, he, see, he seems to be getting cooked on shows when i'm not there to supervise yo he <laughs> was it was historically bad yo it was historically bad on gridiron and then the follow-up to performance with wow. what happened on from the logo my dog my dog Hey, my dog might not be nothing without Big Meech top left. He might not be nothing without Big Meech right now. Uh oh. I, hey, I went I back gonna... and some, someone sent a segment from like a while ago, like before Dub just started copying me. Yeah, I can see why he started copying me. His takes were abysmal. So um that's shout out to Dub, yo, man. Yo, shout yo, to Dub. yo Mars. That's the first thing I seen this morning when I when I when well the first thing I seen when I opened <laughs> my phone was was the dub a dub another Kareem Abdul Jabbar take? I want to make sure is that recent or that's 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 like being re recycled from two years ago, or is dub still on this Kareem Abdul Jabbar take? Uh, what's the Kareem take about Kareem and Shaq? Kareem and Shaq, him, yeah, it was, him, it, was, it, was oh, dub, it was dub, it was dub, it was dub not oh. respecting Kareem's competition. That, that was recent, that was recent, <laughs> yeah. That was, yeah that see, that's what I'm saying, like. I'm, I'm, you know that's how Dub just crashes out when he just goes on his own lane and starts making his own takes. It's it's that despicable was, that we that, that you know what I'm saying. Like you know what, I gotta hold y'all accountable. I gotta hold y'all accountable for this. Not y'all, sure. not y'all here. I'm talking about y'all, Ron. I'm talking about y'all. I'm talking about everybody that's facilitate. Oh, that's it's you just said not y'all here. It's I'm Mars fault. Not, it's not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. What I'm saying is, I'm not talking to more. What well, kind of talking to Mars? Who been with? Who been with Dub the most? Talking, anybody I'm talking, I'm talking to Jack Robin Chill. I'm, I'm the one who improved I'm him. Blaming, I'm blaming who whoever whoever does the social media. I'm blaming them too. Who keep profiting off of Dub? Who's making clips? Who's a ball? It's crazy. His own propaganda. Yeah, Dub, Dub was the clip maker. Yeah, yeah I, I know thank that's you. what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm talking about recently because he said he said he doesn't do it no more. So I'm saying whoever whoever is whoever oh, is still proper. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. I was talking talk to him. I blame y'all. I blame Mark Ron. I blame. I would, you, I would give. So what that's about you? your disrespectful clips when you be disrespecting people and when you put out bad nobody. takes and when you push Mars bad narratives? Who would you blame for that? I blame me. You can't blame whoever. You're 100 culpable. You and Mark. He improved 100%. him. His Not takes were off the know. wall. He started copying me, and now only 10% of his takes are off the wall. You're welcome for the 90% of his takes being <laughs> solid because they just come from me. You're welcome. Oh, I can't control that he wants to do his own thing sometimes. Like, sometimes you just got to let your little kid fall over so they can try and learn that like, I can't just hold his hand through everything. So I'm sorry that he does something by himself sometimes and ends up blowing the place up. Like, that's not my fault. I, I tried to give him some independence. He copies me. He well, it's like, obvious that it's not working, Mars. I was trying to give him some that. independence. And how's that going, J-Rob? How is that working? I'm going to be that's honest, bro. I, I, I don't know, know how bad from the logo the whole was. Time. I don't know how bad from the logo was, but I'll be real with you. The The I love Dub Dub. I love you when you watch this. But that gridiron show you did the other day was he wrote was he rotisserie chicken? Yes or no, bro? He might have been pulled pork, gang. 
right <laughs> off the right <laughs> off the joint. Full pig, straight through. They roasted him up, fall off the bone. <laughs> Hold on, he had the apple in his mouth. He was served with coleslaw, pickles, corn, and all the fixings, bro. He crashed out. I was like, Oh, oh dog. Dog. Was it Max salad, too. I got the whole Max salad, salad. The whole Max salad with the sweet pickles. All right, right. I'm not gonna get that tonight. So maybe, we need, maybe we need to, maybe we need to get to the bottom. Uh, Rio's buns. The this is, your, this is now your responsibility, Moss. Like, like, you see, like, in the words of Mike Lowry, not Mike Lowry, I'm sorry. And, and bad boys when Martin said, "Yo, see what happens when you go off. You get in the shit without. Me. See what happens. <laughs> see what happens when you go off without me. See what happens." Yeah, but I, so, can't, I can't just intervene in free will. He's got. I gotta let him make some decisions for himself. Like his, he made the decision to start copying me. I didn't tell him to do that. He made the decision to start copying me. But that's ever, 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 ever so why he wants. To, every once in a while, he wants to stray from the path, <laughs> and like I, I'm not gonna steer him back in the right direction. Go do your thing, man. <laughs> I, I can't that. do anything about that. Wait wait I I that. Like Did he bite your style, Mars? Is that what you're saying? He bit your style? <laughs> well, if you were, if you go back and listen to some of the takes he made when he had no guidance, and then look listen to some of the takes he makes with guidance, you can see there's a clear switch up in how he views the game. Because he just I don't know, J Rob. It sounds like a rap coach over here. Like your lyrics was kind of whack before you got with me, but then when you got with me, you, you, <laughs> I mean, you studied my style. He had good energy, but the words he was saying were just stupid. Now he has good energy and he just says, the words Oh, I mumble say. rap. Oh my god, mm. so he's a so, mumble rapper. <laughs> Wait till I say, hey, dog, you got some explaining to do, though, because yeah, it, 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 like, it, like, it, it sound like you got a ghostwriter. That's what it sound like you got to me. It sound like <laughs> you got a ghostwriter. I just can't teach him. I just can't teach him to just stop hating the old eras. That's what, like, that's just in him. I don't know what it is. I don't know what. Uh, old person did to him, but he just he's gonna hate anything before the 2000s. I, that's just dope. I can't change wow. that. That's just him. Hey, you know, he always said that the 70s oh, never happened. He said that. He said they don't recognize the 70s. He said, Oh, that. right, yeah. right. I, but look, oh, yeah, though, the, the, thing, the thing about it though, the take the, the whole take though, chill. And this is this is my thought process on it is he's talking about height, you know. To me, in basketball, height means less than what like your standard reach. It doesn't matter how tall you are, as much as like how long your arms are, you know what I'm saying? So you know, Rondo, you know what I mean? So, like, we don't, Rondo, we don't really was know. Six, Rondo was like 6'3", and he had like a seven, like a seven foot wingspan or something. He, yeah, so he, like he more he more like 6'6", six, six, you know what I'm saying? Right. More like 6'5". That's you know why Jalen like, Williams looks so tall, because he's at 6'5", but he was like a 7'2 wingspan. So, like, yeah, right. Well, so when you like, like, how big do you play? Like Desmond Bain looks so small. Exactly, Slim. Exactly. Slim. <laughs> he got the alligator arms. Desmond Bain does have the alligator arms. If you if you're six, like to me, like, okay, so if you're six, if you're six, seven, six, eight, but you got seven, three wingspan, you know what I'm saying? You can play you're 16. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So like, it's, it's that factors in, and you can even play big without that. I mean, someone said, I don't know who said it, but someone said Grant Williams, and I'm not going to sit here and act like he's this premier. Like he's not Draymond, we know that, but he he plays bigger than what he is for sure. Um, and it's just about like, how do you how, how physical are you going to be? Obviously, how quickly do you get off the ground? I think that's something that people mm -hmm. don't uh, consider a lot is not how high can you jump, but how quickly can you get off the ground? Fast. Yeah, Shangoon, we were talking about him earlier. He's got a decent vertical. His combine number for his vertical was not bad, but he just doesn't. It's just a very ground. long load up. Yeah, slow. He needs a lot of momentum for you to hey. see the maximum capability. But that's twitchiness. Got, twitchiness is really twitchiness. I think twitchiness, twitchiness is his natural. Is you have those quick twitch fibers or not? It's nah, nah. He it's just needs to work on it, man. He just needs to work on it. Well, I'll but you can only be so. You can only peak out. He'll be Zion if he works on it long enough. Shut up, bro. Not maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not Zion. But you, you can get you can max get up out quicker, though. It'll Definitely be above can. average. And it's, and it's about it's about how you work out and different types of workouts and the way you work out. Hey. You know what I'm saying? All that all that matters. Having quick quick twitch, quick twitch, twitch muscles, muscles as opposed hey. as opposed to being slow. And you know you can work on that for sure, Morris. For sure. Yeah, you can work oh, on. Yeah. I mean, I, I I've yeah. dunked in my life, and I'm convinced that when God designed me, He said this dude right here is not about to dunk at any point in his life. I just don't <laughs> have the quick twitch fibers, but I worked on it. I got there, and then as soon as I stopped working on it, I lost it. So mm -hmm. you can maximize, you know, but it's not the same as shooting. I will not – I won't tolerate that, Mars. I saw what you were doing. You didn't slip it by anyone. All yeah. right, y'all. We got a super chat from Trey Lett. He said, why Mars keeps saying we? Hmm. Thought he separated himself from the Rockets. We is the whole NBA. Okay. I'm a fan of the NBA. We is the whole well, NBA. Well, first and foremost, <laughs> he never separated himself from the Rockets, right? So we didn't break up. He just said – we 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 starting to see other people. It's an open we, relationship. Yeah, it's we ain't officially broken up. Y'all so. still got a marriage certificate though. Yeah, it's so open. He, he, okay, he, a marriage can be open. It's despicable. <laughs> open it's disgusting. Right? Me no many many people are in open relationship. It's twenty twenty four. You guys got to keep up with the times. 
Open relationships are oh, new way. Yeah. Yo. That's not the way for me. I don't condone it. It's not. It's not the way, way for me. I don't no, condone it. It's the way, it's the way for some people. Wife. It's the way for some people. Right. It's the reason why I wifed you. It's the reason yeah. why I did that. I hear you. Nah, okay. Royalty's I hear you. dead. I hear you. Uh, I hear you, uh, Mars. That's yeah, exactly. Nuts, open relationship. You'll be in an open marriage, Mars. Open relationship vibes. He already I, in it with the Rockets. We already know where we know where Mars. We know Mars already given us entanglement. Mars, 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 Mars already gave us his. Mars already gave us his allegiance logic, and he's made it clear that the minute he is not happy, his logic is why am I still doing this? The minute he's not happy, why am I still doing this? There's no reason for me to continue to build with you, despite all your flaws. When there's somebody else who's better, better looking, more more flashy, doesn't make a difference. Why should I stay with you? So Mars has made it clear his commitment to you is very minimal. So whatever you got going like on, it's a bad thing. that just makes sense. So here we go. Now, why would you stay with the worst person who makes you unhappy? You sacrifice, bro. You gotta sacrifice. Why okay, I, first, bro, okay, first and foremost. Live once, and you want me to okay, sacrifice my happiness? You're telling me. You're telling me. I ain't gonna be out here miserable for nobody. And ain't nobody saying it's gotta be miserable. What I'm saying is that you and I, 18 years being a child. No, no, Jerry, Jerry. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you from somebody. I'm gonna tell you from somebody that lived for myself, Jerry. Why would I do that? Jay Rob, I'm gonna tell you from somebody real serious. You know, I ain't trying to get too personal, y'all, but for real, bro, that's that shit is bad for them kids, bro. Growing, no, growing, up, growing, growing up in the house with, with, when it's, it's clear that there's two no people love here. I, 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 grew up, I grew up like that. My people were supposed to, they finally did, but they were supposed to do that shit like 10 years ago. Like, what are y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? We ain't right. we in here miserable. Don't don't think you're making your kids happier by staying with somebody when y'all don't love each other, y'all hate each other, y'all actually are a detriment to your children, bro. And I can I can definitely get with that logic, but to Mars, but back to Mars, Mars has made it clear that there is no allegiance. When you build an allegiance with somebody, however, you do tolerate their in their flaws, like this Houston right. Rockets team. But not sure. if they make For you sure. unhappy. The flaw the flaws can be tolerated as long as you are happy to accept them. If the flaws are making me unhappy, why would I stay? Nah, right. Mars, I don't, I don't got you on this, no. Mars, because no, clearly, you guys just, no, 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 just, just like, check me out. Just sense. check me out, right quick, Mars. Check me out. You're just being very impatient. That's because it. Clearly, because better, clearly, man. it's a lot of good things going. You can see the growth. And you I'm, can see I'm the potential. You, you can see. Whoa. Oh, so no, Lever, wow. you need to mature. You need to. You need to do your You need to. You need to. You need to raise your credit score. I you need to be happy yeah, while Mar you really? work on yourself, and then I will come back. Mars, that's if you crazy. Oh, she don't want that's you no more. Mars. She done leveled up. Okay, then that's wow. then that is what it is. I can go be happy elsewhere. Mars, this I'm is not about bro. You I, only I, I live once. Was gonna go that if way. I live for seventy five years, right. there is no reason for me to sacrifice the happiness on my life that is so short for no reason. I'm not about to sacrifice happiness. When I only get 75 years on this planet, I'm gonna try and be as happy as possible for as long as possible because there's nothing after this. Why am I about to just sacrifice my happiness for someone else so they can be happy and I just gotta suffer? I, no, I'm not hey man, Mars, what's, what's what's shout, out, shout out to Mars' is future women in his life, man. I'm praying for y'all. Oh, uh, Mars, what's more pleasurable than watching a chick grow? Huh? What's more album. pleasurable than watching a Mint Thompson album. be able to shoot 35% <laughs> from three in three years? My, I can watch it from the outside and be like, oh, that's nice. Matter of fact, I, don't I don't need to go through the suffering of watching a Men Thompson shoot fourteen percent and pray that he's going to improve. I can just hey, watch kids, the don't take like, life oh, advice nice from Mars. And then if he doesn't improve, that's you would die. You would die lonely. As we are <laughs> there. Nobody I, holding I, I, may, I may die lonely, but I will die happy. Hey Mars, I got a couple of chicks I got to cut off because I'm actually starting to get your logic. <laughs> shoot me on the side. What you be texting them? So I can let her know that I'm not going to text is crazy, bro. I don't get why you guys are going to just be unhappy. What's wrong with you? We're going to shoot. I'm going to punch you. That ain't going to be you know, I will. You still want them to say good things about you. You still want to be able to, you know, talk to them if you need someone, if they need something. You don't want to break up with somebody and leave it like they, they you know what I'm saying? What's wrong with y'all? What? I'm about to say, that's crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm 100% with Mars. I don't get the whole being unhappy thing. The moment I'm unhappy, I'm out of there. I'm out of there. What are we talking about? Like, what is it to talk about? 
And if you're, an I, don't ex, I don't give a damn what my exes say about me. So wait, anytime you're, I, honestly, I hope it's all bad. I hope it's all bad. I think it's a matter of. I hope you tell all the negative. Don't take. I hope I made you absolutely miserable while you were with me. If the only source of my unhappiness is one person, why would I keep that one person in my life? That makes no sense. Wouldn't. You wouldn't. Um, That's all I'm saying. Like, I'm not about to just stay unhappy for, for their benefit. But what if you still make them happy and they want you to fight for their love? You make I them hate them. that. Hey, Robin, that's crazy, Get out. Robin. Get out. Get out. out. I'm, I'm, being, I'm, away I'm getting a little toxic. Get get away from make, from sure, make, sure, make sure that door hit him in their ass on the way out. Yo, that's why I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to see why they talking bad about you. If they was unhappy, they might have been happy. They just didn't want you to be unhappy. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. Oh, this is getting toxic. Saying. What's next, Ron? I protect yeah. my happiness. Elite, elite ball you, you guys can right sacrifice here. yours. I protect my happiness. Slim, as the <laughs> one guy up here that is white. Um, <laughs> No, I was going to say that was on the honor roll multiple years. Can you give us logical Why advice? Why do you know he's the only one? Wait, talk about it. Wait, I was about to the say. Problem with the problem is he did this. Is he did this. He did I made the honor roll a couple of times. Hey, I'll, I'll tell y'all. I'll tell y'all. I'll tell y'all. I was not an honor roll student. I was a. I just happened to be a. Uh, my straight bad. Bases, right. Ron. Straight I got him mixed with Ori. Ori was on the honor roll. roll. He told hey, me. Zeta Fabia is with your from a Yo, you see, hey, let me this be, is why I keep my degree for me. Let me be Ernie Johnson for a second. Let me be Ernie for a second. That's why he's second. behind me at all times. Here's, 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 here's my take. Here's my take. If someone in your life, and this can go for for with basketball, but mainly relationship talk, if if your happiness is predicated off of like, if you're immediately unhappy the second you're the slightest bit uncomfortable with someone in your life then that's a you that's a you issue thank you that's a Facts. you problem because because Facts. at the end of the day you'll never find someone that's going to make you feel 100 percent like good all the time there's going to be give and take and for me if i'm looking at you know like trying to get in a relationship with someone if the second they're uncomfortable then they're like and, and they're they're out then i'm like okay that's not someone who's going to sacrifice for me why the hell would i sacrifice for them that's that's how i see it well no one's saying you feel unhappy love you, one love time yourself. and leave well that's what you're, you're saying like, yeah, that's what, what I'm saying is, no, like no, no. what I'm unhappy, saying is, yeah. if I'm just miserable, always everybody. unhappy, oh, and yeah. the only reason that's I'm called, unhappy that's is called this not person. liking someone, Mars. Yeah, that's why, why would I like with someone I don't like? That's my point. Okay, you're acting like it's it's, it's just black <laughs> and white. Like the wrong, second the, the it's not good <laughs> no, for you. The I'm second Amen Thompson no, shoots 14 from three. Like there's just days where there's just days where you just get up and you're not in a good mood. That doesn't mean I want to kill myself. Like I. I'm still gonna understand mood swings. Like there's just days where you just ain't got it. There's days where they won't have it. So but how if many every NBA day of my you... existence how... they're just oh. making me unhappy? Hold on, I'm not gonna stay. How many NBA teams have you like said I'm a fan of this team and left them in the past five years? It's only two: Golden State and um, Houston. No Thunder. I thought Thunder was in there somewhere. No, the Thunder is my next team. Oh, that's his, that's his side sheet. So you're already scoping yeah, out the J. next Rob, one. It's going on, J. Rob. It's happening. Yes. That, right? so that's that's first of all, first but I've only, I've, the only team I've, the only team I've, the only teams I've all, left no, is Golden State no, and Houston. No, no, J. Rob, everybody I, hitting now. J. Rob, everybody hitting now. Me and me and Houston, me and Houston, like I'm still there. I'm still there. I'm still allowed to explore my options. I've been diving into that Oklahoma City ocean before all of y'all. I've been swimming in that, so I'm not about to just pass her around. J. Rob, you hit that too. That's a personal. Yeah, that's a Everybody personal. Everybody hit that. That's nah. Stop. I'm about to say. Hey, I mean, remember she was in Seattle. Right? Right? I'm about to say like. I, I that's a personal. Oh like, nine, my god, that's crazy. Hey, she was with me first. <laughs> I let her go to the streets. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I made her leave town, Mars. Ron was there before. Jerob, the Jerob, she text. She text. She, she still. She still text Ron to see what color to get her nails painted. <laughs> no, <you suck. laughs> nah, I'm with Oklahoma City though. Hey, but Mars, you paying for him now though? I'm in a polyamorous. <laughs> I'm in a polyamorous relationship with the Lakers and the Knicks, and then you know we what? we found a we, we oh have so J Rob can do it, and it's cool. But I man, I guess I've been I'm doing this though, Mars. I've been doing this. I can't get this doing bro. this. So J Rob can do it. I got I got one team and I got one girl. You know I'm riding on the line, but you know it's always about you feel me. Let's get it. It's real out here. I just wanna, you just I, torn I, I, between two women. That's all that is. That that's all that is. I am. Yeah, I am torn. <laughs> I'm torn, bro. I'm torn. You gotta have an understanding like me. Me and my Laker relationship. It's like I'm a prime NBA player. She know what I get into on the road. We ain't got to talk about it. What's understood don't need to be said. Just don't, just don't put it in her face. Just don't do she, that. Just, don't just put don't it on her face and don't lie to her. Just don't lie to her. 
Look, people that's why I'm always honest. Like, every team I want to support, I was, push, I was pushing for the Pistons. Lakers weren't mad. They know what it is. Yeah. You know, oh, know why I come yeah. home. Where I go home every night. Exactly. You know what it is? Oh, my God. And, 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 so, and, 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 and so we clear, buddy, I just so you know, when I was your age, my man, yo, you ain't got a chance against me, right? You were, you wouldn't have a chance against me when I was your age. I'm smashing your chick and the chick that you liked, by the way. And the chick that you liked, she doing my homework when we in school. You ain't got a chance against me with your Charles White, black and mild, black lips looking ass. You don't have a chance against me, B. Wait, not one. What he even say? Not saying? one chance. So, what what that you that you up what that's crazy. That's crazy. You must be out your mind, my dude. You ain't got a chance against me when I was so, your age. Any chick so that you was is now in fifty one and over. Who this? Because Buddy said be on talking about. KD. I'm bagging her. No, uh, uh-uh. you ain't heard. You didn't. You didn't see what he said before calling me a simp and all of that. Like I said, oh, yes, any yes, chick yes, that yes, you was yes, interested yes, in, yes, I was bagging her, yes, and you didn't have a chance against her. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I promise you. You've been holding on to this rage, chill. Line them up, buddy. All right, fellas. Um, therapy, let's all put our game faces on. It's time to be serious. Now. Uh, hey, Ron, I got time today, Ron. I got time today. I got time today, Ron. All right, y'all might be cool. I might just let just unleash chill on y'all. Yeah, and chill with chill coming on in a few hours. Yeah, I'll tell you that right now. I got time today. Yes, I do. Y'all, 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 y'all hear that? Pull up to chill, up with, to chill, chill with chill today. If 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 you really today. want this, hey, if this is what you want. I got time Pull up today. to chill with chill. Yes, I do. Hey, the right, show is at five five p.m. Eastern. Yeah, I I'm might dropping that I, link at five oh one. I might have to pull up my damn self just to say hello, see what's going on in there. I'm dropping, I'm dropping that link at five oh one. You would have with me though, my man. I bet you would have said that with me. I bet you would have said that with me when you seen your chick that you used to be with with me. I bet you would have said that to hell. What you doing with that nigga? I yeah. bet you, <laughs> you might not have said it before you ain't ass. never ran in me. That's why you ain't never said it because you ain't never ran into nobody by me. Like I told you, B, I got time today, Ron. I got time Dry today. Ass, all right, all right, all right, y'all. So I, got, I got a gang of super chats. We got to get into this SGA talk. I got a whole nother crazy topic that I'm going to slap on the screen that you guys are going to lose your mind over. Draymond just, he, he said some Draymond type stuff, and we got to oh, address it. Draymond being but, Draymond. But, but hold on, no. I, I got some super chat. So let's let's start from the top. Almighty Lambo said, so when, so when we get beat by the Knicks, it's only because we saw but when we whoop the best team in the NBA, the narrative is all Tatum. Y'all was yapping y'all ass off. When we lost the other night, I synced it. Ron just wanted to push a weird Boston agenda. Not, well, mm-hmm. Jason Tatum agenda. That's all that was. Um, it was a, a month for them to lose. He waited a month for them to lose a game. It's like pushing an agenda like they just weren't. Mars, I'm saying no. These are characteristics that I've been seeing for a long time. Yeah, when, you didn't when, see it for the last 11 games. You just waited for them to lose so you could say, oh, look right. at these characteristics. They get like, all right, Mars, when, when the playoffs come around. And then 16 and in the playoffs? When the playoffs come around mm-hmm. and Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum start playing peekaboo in the fourth quarter, I'm just gonna be the one to say I told you so, and nobody and then else. When gonna they what if they want? I'm gonna say so the best in the league, so they should do it. Like it's gonna be a lose lose. Mm. Yeah, it is. Cause... Like nothing they do is gonna move you because if they do succeed in the players, are gonna be like they got poor Zingers. I mean, no, 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 right. no, no, no. that's wrong. That's no, wrong. No, no, no. That's no, what they're gonna do. So that's wrong. Whatever reason you just don't like the Boston Celtics, and no matter what they do, you're not gonna change your opinion on them, whether they win or lose. If they lose, it's gonna be validation. If they win, it's gonna be like, why you taking that, Damo? No, because we because all we have to do is hold Ron to it. Just like Ron said, he feels that when the playoffs come around, Tatum and uh, uh Brown are going to turn into the same number twos I said they were last year. I get that. What I'm saying is, let him believe that. But if, because the, everything if, everything has a possibility when we talk about basketball, right. we don't know the future. If they do go, and this is the year of the Celtics, and they right. win, we're going to hold them to that, and you're right. going to present the exact opposite stance. You're going to talk about how great they are. You're going to praise them. You're going to give them their flowers. And you're going to be as loud with the praise as you are with the disrespect. That's all we can do, right? You well, fight I mean, that, Ron? Ron, Ron your, your take is that, Ron, that Tatum, you... and Brown, Tatum and Brown don't play well late. And like that's that's your take, right? They at least offensively they they disappear right. a little bit. I, I have I have a couple different takes. Okay. My first take is that they just can't fuck with the Bucks. Okay. My no, second take is I think they're going to struggle against the Knicks. I think they're going to struggle against the Heat. I think that if Joel and B comes back, they'll struggle against them too. For my sure. third take is they own Philly. They own Philly. What are we talking about here? My, they own my third Philly. take is. That Jason Tatum is not who you guys say he is, okay? Right. And that and that's the final exclamation mark. When it comes down to it, 
I, I believe that he's going to crawl into that shell that him and Jalen Brown rent out every year around. So, so, the, so the same logic that you were having with, with Halliburton, right, where he hasn't been very good lately, but when he was good, we had to respect the fact that he was doing his thing. So when Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, who I think I'm not definitive it like this, just so we know, Damo, I ain't betting. The, I don't got the rent check on them like I did on the 2001 Lakers. I ain't that definitive on them, right? But I do think that they're going to win it. But if they do win it, Ron, this stance that you have on them, you have to come off that. You have to. If if they win it, I doubt it. It depends on how they win it. Has to stop. But there's no way that they're winning it. There's no way that they're winning it with them two dudes being average or above average. Listen, I I think they could. I mean, it's it's the best roster in the NBA. If Porzingis and Devin White come out and play out of body, and they just play like their regular season selves, they can still win. I think so. If both the players I'm, outside of them elevate their winning, games bro. and they don't fall off, if they stay around to where they are in their regulars in the regular season, if there's no dip, no fall off, they right. can eat. I'm not gonna say easy win, they can still win. Right. So, so to your point, Damo. So, if Jason Tatum is still playing at the level he's playing, which is, I think, arguably a top five player in the league. So, if he's playing like that, and Jalen Brown is playing like a top twenty player in the league, arguably like a top twenty player, plus <laughs> Drew Holiday raises his game, Porzingis raises his game. Derek White raises their game. That's not a fall off. These guys are still doing what they were doing. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't, I don't think that that's playing average. I don't think that that's playing above average. I'm playing at an all pro level. Jalen Brown made the all pro team the last two years. So I don't think that if these dudes stayed at that level, that's not them just being okay. No, they're they're elite. And if and I think that that's the only way that they can win. Those two guys have to at least be where they are right now. All right, y'all, to keep it pushing, uh, Renji said, fun fact, since Kid has been in Dallas, they are 39 and 44 against East teams and 85 and 58 against West teams. Maybe they just don't take the Eastern Conference seriously. Or they're a bad road team. I mean, at the end of the day. <laughs> Glenn, you're a Dallas guy, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I am so, 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 so out on Jason Kidd, and I have been out on him. Since the moment we hired him, I don't care. That we so you would never end. You no. would never end. It was a PR move. It was a PR move. So y'all remember that year, right? That uh, Carlisle walked. He didn't get fired. He he left. Yeah, he chose he to leave the Mavericks. We mm-hmm. fired our GM, Donnie Nelson. Luca loved Donnie. Donnie's the one who found, who was like, this is our guy. We want mm-hmm. Luca. Fired him. Everyone's panicking. This is Luca's year when he's going to resign too. That's what we're trying to trying to do. That's the, the thing we're trying to push. So Cuban and, and ownership, they say, okay, well, we're going to go full 2011 on everyone. They hire Michael Finley as a special advisor to the GM, I believe, or some type of basketball ops job. They hired Tyson Chandler to be on the, the coaching staff as well. And then they bring in Jason Kidd, who has had zero success as a head coach in the NBA. Other other than that, making it to the, to the conference finals, um, that he, he's, he has done nothing as an NBA coach. And I loved him as a player. And it's so hard for me to watch him flounder as a coach for the team that I love and the team that I watched him play on. But it's 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 I mean, unwatchable. So, so and, in his defense, Jabari Terrence's ACL had a lot to do with that. But go, go ahead. Go and go getting ahead. Giannis in like year two. Well, I mean, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's had multiple opportunities. He's had multiple opportunities. And my favorite part about this trade that we made to add front court depth, which was the – the big missing piece, I guess now the only true, I guess, missing piece is you maybe you add a wing defender, something like that, um, for this roster. Is the the best thing to me is we're either good and my team is good and I'm happy and I get to watch my team go deep into the playoffs, or we're bad and mm-hmm. like he has to be out after this year. If we are first round exit or anything else, he's he's out. He's out. He has to be. I cannot, I can't stand him. He's like Darvin Ham gets the you know, hands in the pockets, just kind of like watching. Jason Kidd is that guy. He's just not in LA, so he doesn't get that type of spotlight. Like, have, if you've listened to his post game press conferences, he said they're like, it's "Like we came out kind of flat, or Mavs came out kind of flat." Like, what what do you accredit that to? And he's like, "Hey, I'm I'm watching just like you guys. Like, you'll have to ask them. You're the coach. You're coaching." He yeah, says well, all the well, time, it's it's the, like, I'm just watching like you guys." Like, right. no, you're not. But you're wait, Slim, Slim, is that is that is that a problem really? Like, is it? Is this what he's saying to the media? But he's, I'm sure he's talking to his guys in the locker room in the timeout. Like, who cares? Who cares? Why should a guy get fired because he doesn't want to tell the media everything that's going it's on? It's not just team? that. It's he not just that. Like, it's it's, 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 it's yeah, performance. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He like, he like, mind your business, watch the game. 
I'll, 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 hey, I'll tell you what's going on with my team. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that? he's and because I y'all I, I nosy. Love That's what the thing is. Y'all nosy. Just watch the game. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I think that he is a an emotionally intelligent coach, and Rick Carlisle did not have that. Rick Carlisle is a genius. He's a certified basketball genius. He's had the best offense in NBA history two times in the past four years. That's insane. So, like, give him his flowers there. He is not an emotionally intelligent person in terms of dealing with human beings as a coach. Those are the two sides of coaching, X's and O's in dealing with humans. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will call it like, you know, I'm a raw, raw guy or like a, a true X's and O's guys. And usually you build your coaching staff to balance around that. Kid is a very emotionally intelligent guy. He connects with the players. He's, he's a player's coach. I, I get it. He's, he is that guy. He, he was a former player. He's, I mean, I'm not anymore, but he played with a lot of guys that were, were in the NBA and now are still working in the organization, yada, yada, whatever. But he cannot even come close to knocking on the door of, of more, I guess, X's and O's versus coaches in, in the league. Oh, come on, bro. He can't. On, he can't. Watch watch the games. Please watch the games and tell me that there's zero what should, what imagination. Should he be doing? What should he but, be doing? But, what, but, what, but, bro, he got the most creative player in the world. He does. What should he be doing? He didn't make, this Luka, is, he didn't make is, him that. But this, but this is what I got to get to. Um, No, I know he didn't make him that. But when this is where I got to get to kind of uh, Tyron Lue's point about NBA players. Like, we come down hard on coaches sometimes, but I think it's also true to his point. Like, we got to start holding the people in the locker room accountable as well for their performances. And I also think, like, and this is my personal opinion from my experience with head coaches myself, is I think I prefer the head coach that's going to really make the media in Ox's terms mind their business. Because I think some of the issues in just sports media as a whole is, you know, media will catch coaches saying certain things about their teams and be, and spin that as an identity of the team or a narrative about the team. So I like a more private locker room in terms of, like, you can't always know what's going on. And I think I don't know if you heard Mars say it before. Greg Popovich does that, bro. He does, but there's there, a difference. There, there's a lot of There's coaches. a difference between yeah, saying, hey, that's our business so and saying – he says, yeah, he's he says, go ask them. So Yo, he listen, says, yeah, yeah, be yeah. Honest, Greg Popovich, it because works. it's Greg Popovich, Slim, he gets away with a lot of things. Like, bro, you know, I think. Hasn't he earned that though, J-Raw? Hasn't no, he earned he that? Hasn't. No, he hasn't. I don't think no? he earned everything. I think it's okay to criticize Pop somebody for what they do wrong. Popovich has created a, a, a era for the NBA where we had to put a 65-game cap in the season. And I think that went. Pop is responsible for low run. management? That's his fault? Is that what you're saying, Jay? One thousand percent. I think I didn't do it anywhere. Two thousand percent. This is ridiculous. What was going on today? Or because what, now I think it's bullshit. Yeah, I think yeah, it's bullshit. Some, because, some would you know, say some would I say this cap, Pop doing Tyrese it with the what allowed people to think they could get away with doing. Yo, but I don't think it's validated because, for example, a guy like Tyrese Halliburton clearly came back from an injury a little bit earlier. It decreased a bit of his production, mm -hmm. and I think that is affecting him as a basketball player. And I attribute that to the fact that he created this environment of low management. And I think the low management ended up falling on Kawhi Leonard as the face of it. Mm -hmm. But That's he's right. not the pioneer of it. The pioneer was Greg Popovich. And so I don't think anybody is above criticism. So again, when Greg Popovich has been private about his career, I mean, about his locker rooms, it has been looked at as okay. But when Jay Kidd does it, you want to hear more, and I don't, and I, I personally, I personally disagree with that. It's I not also the don't, same. It's not the same. The, the, the difference is, J. Kidd is an actual terrorist. Can we just like <laughs> let's, let's just let's just cut let's cut the shit. J. Kidd is a terrorist. Okay, he yeah. is why, on terrorist why, watch. Why? Why is he a terrorist? What does he do? What is what is what is the like, specific coaching flaws? What are what's the remedy to what he's doing wrong? Like. What is what are the sets? What's the issue? From, it's because he doesn't got seen, much time out. I don't, I don't watch Cook, Ron. I don't, you can't, I don't watch you can't, him you every can't be considered game. A, You can't be considered a bad coach because you don't call all your timeouts. There has to be a specific reason. No, it's like, not. It's like, not just that. I, I don't. I don't. And Slim, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna let no, you. I'm just getting to his point this. about the podium. Oh. I'm just getting to his point about the podium. I'm not talking well, about. The thing about it is, when it comes to media, perception to the outside world. When it comes to media, you guys can't be can't be mad at him deflecting questions or or make yeah, it seem like it's nothing because no here here's the thing the media will be asked it will be a different narrative and they will be asking oh good God. questions if the mavericks were performing up to par so you, you can't that 
if, if, if the Mavericks were the one or two seed, then it would be a whole different narrative. But it's not a different narrative because J. Kidd is a terrorist. You see so, what I'm saying? He, 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 I, I, I guarantee you, terrorist. if they were asking him good questions, he, would, he wouldn't be saying, mind your business. Still, well, have not have not gotten answer. still have not gotten a satisfactory answer. Oxbow. And the what other exactly thing about Greg Popovich, we can walk. I'm waiting for my turn. Sure, sure. I'm waiting for my turn. Slim is the Dallas fan, sir. I think Slim might have an answer. But on top of that, I'm going to try to answer the real question here. Who's the terrorist? Because if you ask me, Jay Kidd ain't the one out here throwing grenades. So who's the tail? Oh That's <laughs> why Jay Kidd is the coach, though. Who's Jay, the tail? Jay, 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 Kidd, Jay Kidd can be implementing Jay Kidd, a better Jay Kidd offense. Jay Kidd ain't the one out here throwing grenades. Terrorists Ox, throw grenades Jay, and bombs and shit like that, right? Ox, Ox, Jay Kidd, can, like Jay Kidd. Jay Kidd can be well, implementing a better offense to make Luka more efficient, to make Luka more effective. That would be things nice. Like that. that would be it, nice. That, that would be a whole okay. lot nicer. Would a nice. whole lot nicer. Nice. On top of that, Jay, of Jay, Kidd's, Jay Kidd's rotations are abysmal. Abysmal. Oh, he, 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 for whatever reason, he loves playing a 6'9 guy at the 5 and being like, yeah, we're going to just run. <laughs> I believe that's we're called gonna... small ball. Yeah, yes. and guess what? When you have a 6'7", 300-pound point guard, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. He's ball. not at his best when he, they're just running up and down the floor. You have to, you, you, you have to pace in space. You have to like, you have to slow stuff down, and you have to run stuff to put Luca in an opportunity to make a play that he hasn't completely manufactured himself. We see so much of that. People complain about Luca Ball in the, in the usage, whatever. It's because there's nothing happening. In the offense, there's no actions to put him in a good situation coming off of a screen or anything to where he's he has to create it himself. They just get him the mismatch and they say, okay, go ahead. And they do that with Kyrie. Seen, I, to, 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 in his defense, Big Ox, I have seen Luca on the bench when Jason Kidd is running up a play like, not this shit again. Not way. <laughs> no way we're running this again. No and also, the best coaches, the best coaches can can polish a turd. Jason Kidd has not ever done that before in, in his life. Rick Carlisle, his whole career was spent doing that. He's he's doing it. I mean, obviously, Indiana is they're they're okay, but in post trade deadline, they look a lot better. But he was doing it in Indiana before they even traded for Siakam and put together a bit of a more championship ready roster. Not that I think they're there yet, but um, either way, kid has an idea of the way he wants to play basketball, and it's not based off of the roster that we have. It's based off of the way he's wanted to play basketball since he got to Dallas. And nothing's changed. The roster has changed drastically, but he has not changed the game plan. And to me, that's that's all I need to see. And we can get into the specifics. Like I'd love to watch some film on it and point out, like, don't think there's anything better here to run in this situation other than to just like let's just get a big on Luca and then just let him work out for ten possessions in a row. But Slim, all all J Kid's career, all J Kid's career, all you heard when he was talking to reporters was him talking, stressing the importance of moving the ball, getting the ball up the court, moving the ball early. He used to talk, especially like when he was with, uh, with the, in his older days, he was always talking about getting off the ball, running something, you know you'll get the ball back. That was Jay Kidd. I heard him say that multiple times to multiple reporters. That's all he was talking. I can't, I just can't imagine that as a, as a coach, as a coach that he's just so obsessed with not moving the ball the way he was so, so obsessed oh, man. when he was playing. That's it's just, it's just mind boggling for me to think that. Now I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm just saying like for somebody that was such a smart hooper and really and really pressed and stressed and moving the ball, I just have a hard time believing that that's the offense that he wants. That's the offense he's implementing. So I just if, if he question, wants question, it, uh, if question, you want real, it and you're quick. the coach, then make it happen. Real then quick, tell your star player, you hey, you need to do more there. You got uh, well, that, that was that was my there. next question to you, Ox, because the offense, the way it's running, the guy who's implementing that offense, do you think he wants to sit him? But he can't because can't, of who it he is. Can't still, he can't right? sit Luca. He, he can't because of who it is. But this this is my thing though. I'm I'm. Are we are we sure that Luca's like yo? We don't got the personnel for me to be moving the ball around, doing all this and no. that. Gonna, that. We can't we can't do this. Just let me have the ball. Let me do my thing. Like, I mean that's. I could be wrong though, Slim. You, I could be wrong. You know, I'm just I'm just. It's not connecting for me. That's all. It's just and not like, connecting for me. I, like, I do understand that with like think about when when the Mavericks did have success under J. Kidd. It was went to the conference finals. We had three guards that could isolate any miss any any mismatch in the NBA for the most part. With obviously, don't think about the player he is now, but the player he was on that team. Spencer Dinwiddie was cooking anybody, anybody that couldn't move their feet. We were pitching it to Dinwiddie and letting him isolate him. Brunson, he was Luka. The playoffs. 
it, and, it, it, and it worked. But the thing is, that's you cannot rely on that t- on just like mismatch basketball unless you have a crazy like all star roster of of isolation scores. I mean, I look at why for a while the Cavs get, couldn't get past the Warriors because they played two very very different styles of basketball. Where where Golden State is is running stuff off ball more so. It's more of a it was more of a, a, a college overseas pro type offense. And Cleveland was was playing your turn, my turn a little bit. And that can work. It, it can work. But I think the consistency is, lies in better better offense, better run, uh, more coach-involved offense, I should say. All right, y'all. Uh, moving along, Liam McLean said, Ron's just looking for a reason to hate Tatum, LOL. They lost by one point. Yes, they should have won. They go on an 11-game win, winning streak, no flowers. To him, to him at all, one loss. Quote unquote, look at Tatum, how bad he is. Come on, Ron. It was a bad agenda. Uh, that's some integrity, Ron. I was despicable. I'm just yeah, saying it Ron. doesn't look like things are changed. Despicable, bro. It, it <laughs> I expect way more than you from like, and I expect more. way more for a player that's top three. Think about that for a second. Think about that. Mars, they, they, they say they, this. They, they say they, these they, things. They, they say he's they, top they, three. They say he's better yeah. than Luca. So top they say three he should players be in the MVP. Have, Top three players can't have a bad game. Not a bad game. Just, yeah, yeah, just, just scored less in the second half. That's all, Damo. He scored less in the second half. He didn't have a bad That's game. It. But even 26, if you want to, 26 and 13, he was balling down, Damo. But even if you want to say a bad That'd game, a bad player. half, bad quarter, whatever it is, a top three player can't have that. Because, again, they no. did just go on an 11-game win streak. They did just blow the Warriors up by 75. And it was no, no <laughs> How many, Damo? Yeah. How many? Oh, my God. Yeah, Look that at the Warriors. Hey, man. Yeah, that was like, yeah. these, these Celtics is different now. They went in by 89 <laughs> points. It was none of that. But they lose one game by one because they blew a lead. Now it's, see, I always knew. Uh, like, these dudes is like, trash. Get them off the court. Oh. They trash, Damo. <laughs> Nothing changed. I don't remember the Celtics beating nobody by 79 points. That's never <laughs> – I cannot remember the last time they did that. That's different. That's different Celtics work. I looked at them differently. They blew a talking about, now, Rod? What are you talking uh, about, Ron? Right. Hey, what hey, are you doing week, right now? Hey, the, the playoffs are in a month. Just, I'm telling six you, weeks. I'm, six hey, weeks. I'm, 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 I'm gonna point back to this exact to game. I'm gonna just tell y'all four points in the second half. When, hey, when, when, <laughs> all right, hey, y'all don't, y'all don't want to pay attention to red flags. Y'all just want to act like a red flag is. Oh, well, it's okay. It was a lot of green flags, and that one little red flag. Well, you overlooked. ignored every right. green flag. Hey, this is just a dating talk flag. show. It's a red flag for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> and you ignored Black every red. single green flag, every single one. <laughs> just said they made all, the good, you all found, the good. You stuff found one red flag. All these, of a sudden, there was. These are not like, Mars. This has been the thing for. It's it's not necessary. The thing about Jason Tatum is it's the consistency thing. Mm. It's the fact that he will come and give you 51 in a game seven. But and that's a good thing. That's a green flag, a major green flag. But the next game will come and, and do what I'm just saying. Four points in the fourth quarter. It's like JT. If if this is hey, hey, chill. If you are what you say you are, show it to us. That's all I be asking, J- JT. Can we please get you consistently cooking? That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Consistently cooking on buckets. And that's Lose not the only thing. Well every game, though. right? And that's Ron, not the only thing Ron. that wins. That is yeah, not the yeah, only. But thing but, that wins. but, but, but nobody out. goes and puts on a superstar performance, and then the next night it's like, yo, what is this? Really? So what? so I, how come you don't mention I when just Steph Steph Curry goes that Steve literally Steve. happens all the time? What are you talking about? Ron? <laughs> what what was the most? happens all the time? Steph Curry has three games under ten points this year. Like Ron, are you oh, kidding me, bro? That happens all the time. J- J- JT is Ron, one of why the you hate more JT, consistent stars because he's one of the more inconsistent stars that we have. Ooh, hey, JT. In terms of tier tier one superstars, guys that people would put in that that upper echelon, Dude. Jason Tatum is the least consistent one. I agree with that 100. percent Okay, but look, but but, but ch- so. check this out though, Slim, because this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at Ron ignoring these green flags, but uh, you know, really really hot spotlighting this red flag, right? So he's talking about this is a red flag, meaning that this can happen in the playoffs. So, Ron, could, if you, if you go, if you playoffs. go, okay, but yeah, but those other 11 games, those happen in the playoffs too. So, let's say if you're 11, if you're 11 and one in the playoffs, you know what that means, Ron? That means we're three and one in the in the Eastern Conference Finals right now. So, Ox. I'm okay Ox. with that. If we're really, you just lost the first round game, but yeah, I, I get your point. Oh, no, 11, 11, they won 11. They won 11. Oh, you're saying they won 11 straight, okay, my fault. Yeah, won 11 straight and then lost one, so. We we can't compare that eleven. I mean, three one lead has been blown before. 
Be, that's a, because that's, they're, you know, they're, 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 they're not. We're three one of these Instagram responders right now, Ron. Which, that's, that's straight. That, oh, that'd be okay. Ox, that, that'd be okay, that doesn't relate. You will be the main one to point out a flaw if I was to say something like this, because I'm pretty sure they beat terrible teams that aren't even in the playoffs oh. over that 11 game win streak. So we can't just say that. Okay, so how many of these? How many of these teams? These games were uh, playoff teams in the in the last ones that went. Can you go to the schedule? Let's check out. Let's Miami. Check out. We, 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 they beat, we can they do beat that, Miami. But... They beat New York. They beat Philly, Dallas, and Golden State. That's unless so you want to, unless you want to include Brooklyn, Chicago, Atlanta, those playoff teams. And 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 by and by uh, the way, Mars, don't just and, Ma, and Mars, By the way, don't just say that they beat them. Philly is a playoff team. Smoke them. That's sick. Yeah, no, no, I mean, no, 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 the reason they're a playoff team Come is because on. they've barely lost. When even still, that, okay, so even though, on. even though Dallas, right. even though, so yeah, even a though, team by the even, even though they really a Dallas, team. even though Dallas comes to Boston, smokes them. Yeah, they the Knicks, down. they go, they go to New York, smoke them. No Julius Randle, no Giannis, no. Still smoke them. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, technically they're playoff teams, but then if you look at like who they're missing. The reasons why their playoff teams aren't playing in the games. So, oh man, they're the best the, team. The they're pessimist, the best team in the NBA. The, the right pessimist now. would yeah. argue. The pessimist right. would argue if you beat Philly without Embiid, are Philly without Embiid a playoff team? I don't think they're playoff. I wouldn't be. I would not be surprised. Are, 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 the, are, the, are the Knicks without Randall and Ananobi a, a really good team that's moving you in terms of? No, them? unfortunately, okay, but, it's okay, so off if, right now we uh, need my so that, that, That's what, that's all I'm saying. Like, I mean, I'm still, I'm still like an 11 game win streak is 11 game win streak. Right. I'm giving right. praise. I'm just saying, like, I can understand why someone wouldn't be moved by them. The pessimist. But but still, can we can we play the game the same way though? I need to go back in these eleven games. I need you to tell me of uh, who yeah. missed in these who, who missed those games for the, for the Celtics. Did, did, did KP football. didn't KP miss some games? KP missed. I think KP missed the game. Against the Warriors, he didn't play against the Warriors, and they beat they them by six. You know what I'm saying? He didn't play. I, yeah, yeah, the, the, the Celtics have beat three teams by forty plus in this win streak. Three they up. Beat Memphis, they beat Memphis by forty. They beat Brooklyn by fifty, and they beat Golden State by fifty-two. That's impressive, no matter who you beat. That's ridiculous. And they beat Golden but State. If, but, but, but Ron, if they lose to Brooklyn, Ron is up here roasting the Boston Celtics. If they lose to Brooklyn, that's going on. Yeah, Rocking yeah. If they if they lose to Brooklyn and they're up twenty two in the fourth quarter, yeah. Yes, chill. Yeah. I am right. If they let yeah, Dean Wade yeah. drop twenty on the fourth quarter, yes, chill. I am. And ultimately, <laughs> like how I keep saying, if your star player is nowhere to be found, who is a top three player in the NBA, he should be in MVP talks. This, that, and the third. Am I not supposed to say nothing? Because I swear, if if this would have been the Bucks and if Giannis would have did this, y'all y'all would be up here calling my man trash. Y'all would be up here calling my man a fraud. Y'all would be up here calling my man running dunk man, a fake and defender. If, and, this, and, that, and, and third. Uh, and Doc and Rivers is a fraud. And then where was they? And then where was Damian Lillard? Because I haven't right. brought up Jalen Brown yet. And then where was Damian Lillard? They, hey, yeah. Bay Area Kimba. This, this, and this. But when Dame does perform. 41 He's points. To you, Giannis doesn't play. I ain't gonna lie. They, they, they get a big time win. Okay, Ron. It's crickets. We, we spoke, we spoke Even, about that game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Game That's crazy. It's Even when they do play bad or have a tremendously bad performance, I don't bring that shit up. If it's brought to my attention, Oxum hit me with a, hey, Don, I know you've seen what Dame did. Then I indulge in the Bay Area, Kimba. I don't bring them up. I don't sit here and pray on their downfall. I acknowledge it when it's brought up. What I want to say is, it's ironic you have this stance, but you were the same guy in the playoffs that were off of the bandwagon when it came to the Sixers, but then you seen Joel Embiid do some of the same stuff, <laughs> and then you're back on the bandwagon, he but goes. then when he gets hurt, it's the same story. No, so I, I'm just saying. That's kind Ron, of are, you done, are you done yet with the Sixers, Ron? No, I think no, Joel's going to come back. I think Joel's going to come back. And I just said, I just said that the Celtics are going to struggle against the Sixers. Yeah, you just Which don't one? like the Celtics for whatever reason. Because there's no way you could be like, look at what Boston showing you throughout history and then ignore the Sixers history. Now, like, you can't have the Sixers. Team success is different. Team success is different from individuals. It, oh, it, it's a little right. different this year. Nerds, really. I believe in Nick Nurse. And True. Tyrese Maxey. And the loss of James Harden. All of those things in culmination. I'm starting to get sick of this Nick Nurse stuff. I'm really in I'm really you know what coming in. Hey, That's this year I, in the no, I like quarter, Nick Nurse. I like the nurse, but I, we just do this too much. And then if Nick Nurse never wins another championship, then they're gonna be treating him like Doc. They're gonna be, oh, well, he only won because Kawhi went on that run. Like, 
man, y'all do this all the time with coaches. And I, I'm sick of it. Bro. I'm sick of it. This year in the fourth quarter, Jason Tatum is shooting 41 from the field, uh, 33 from three, and he's averaging six points a game in just under – sorry, six points in that fourth quarter in just under one assist. It's not, it's not a narrative. It's not a narrative. It's, it's just been the reality of his career. Want to talk about grenades? Look at what's, what's Jason Tatum fourth quarter grenades every single game. What Jason Tatum is doing in the fourth quarter. Sorry, say that one more time. They're winning games by an average of 10 points. Yeah, because they have the best roster in the NBA. So why does the best roster in the NBA? The games aren't close. Why does it matter what he's doing? I'm going to tell you why it matters. Because in the second round, those games are going to be close. They are going to be close. Eastern Conference Finals, those games are going to be close. Wait, how many minutes did you say play in the fourth quarter? He plays eight eight and a half minutes a game, which is up there with the like eight, plays, eight and a half minutes in the fourth. Eight, eight point four. Luca plays quarter. eight point three. Giannis plays, I think, the most out of any uh, all star, like eight point nine. So think about Jokic that. For plays, second, Jokic only plays six minutes in the fourth quarter. So okay, I'm, I'm eight, looking at so Jason Tatum's clutch stats. Yeah, that didn't help him. I'm not even going to read them out loud. Yeah, it doesn't help him. Don't read them. Yeah, I'm just. But it's not a narrative. Playing, but I'm it's playing eight minutes. Just I'm playing eight minutes and I'm averaging six points. That's almost a point a minute. Okay, well, look at the rest of the well. I'm one efficiency. You're shooting. I'm sorry. If you're shooting forty percent from the field, that's just simply <laughs> he's not. Got, good. He's going two for five and one for three for three, and I'm making a free throw. Yeah, that's what he and did. he's he's a grenade. No, no, he's a grenade no, no. lover. He's a grenade Teal, lover. No way. Teal. What are we doing? What's going Teal, on? Teal, you can't fight this one. I know you want to fight tooth and nail for Tatum. It's this not is a narrative. You just can't. Teal, you got to sit this one. The out. numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for Jason Tatum. Mm. It's a trick. Oh, I know. I like no, no, because like the, numbers, numbers, the, numbers, the numbers the numbers are lying right here, and they're lying a whole bunch because Mars just said they're, they're, they're winning these games by 10 points. We yeah, because they, they have the best two. roster so, in the NBA. Yeah, so you Jason can't, Tatum on, second, you you can't keep saying that. Like, I don't, care, I don't care who's on the team. They're winning these games by 10 points. Jason Tatum is not up is not up 10 out here just trying to cook everybody in the fourth quarter in the in the fourth quarter. Like we're we're not we're not playing this that that style of basketball. Then be efficient, right then be efficient. Then don't you want you somebody to be efficient. To Tell Luca to be efficient. These aren't, these aren't, close, these aren't close games. Are these, you want, you look at Luca's these are not close stats. games, bro. Luca is shooting fifty-two percent in the game. fourth quarter this year. He's yep. shooting thirty-nine point six percent from three mm. in the fourth quarter this year. Yep. So I, I will ask him to be He's efficient. Playing. And I'm glad you brought that up. So don't, up so, so, so don't leave out the fact that Luca has ten games this year where he shot two for nine or one for eight or worse at the long ball line. Bring that up too. Don't leave that out. That's, okay. a, that's important to mention. So you want to bring up specific instances rather than the season averages? You think let's that's do better? that? Okay, we can. I guarantee you, I can find some horrendous. I'm sure you. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you could. But, but yeah, and, I, and here's I, my I, point. I'm, I'm, we're okay, getting away so from the you, point. So we're getting away from wait, the point. Wait, wait, no, but with Jason Tatum, I've got, I've got one for eleven. Jason Tatum, one for eight, one for seven, two for thirteen, one for yep. six, one for six, one for six, two for eleven, two for nine, two for nine, two for nine, two for nine, two for eight, 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 two for seven, three for ten, three for ten, three for ten, two for six, two for six, three for nine. That's just this season, right? Yeah. Hey, what's up? That's like half the games. It's a lot. Dumb so up. we're gonna bring up what ten games from Luca? I just that's Jason Tatum this year. I read he went two for nine like twenty times. Did you did you count that last night was one for nine as um, well? Is that on the, is that on the well, 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 Dean Wade was I think. I mean, I, 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 like, I, and that's just, that's just this season. Like, I'm, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Wade. I'm sorry. Luka, Luka, can't do it. Like, Luca can have bad shooting nights, but we're not gonna act like Jason Tatum just doesn't. I gotta hear what Damo has to say. He looks so irritated. He always got something good to say. He looks irritated. I just three for ten. And maybe I just wasn't paying attention because I was looking at like numbers from the other night. Just to, maybe I just wasn't paying attention to how we got here. But I feel like this uh, this really could have been avoided if Ron could just start off conversations about Tatum by saying, I'm not a Tatum fan. <laughs> I have a bias against Tatum. Yeah, that's it. That's and it. Go Ron just doesn't like him. If, if that, right. Hold on, hold on, Ron. Hold on, Ron. Why right. that would have been avoided? I just need people to understand. The Celtics are having a historical season in terms of win differential, in terms of how much they're beating teams by. They're beating teams so bad. That we are sitting here, I'm listening to have a conversation <laughs> about specifically Jason Tatum's numbers, specifically in the fourth quarter, in a the year where they're historically blowing teams out, and then <laughs> we're can be oh, efficient. Hold on, it's hold it's on. And then we're comparing it to Luca, and then having the Luca versus Tatum argument. We're not about talking about volume. Production. If you're winning, you're can if I, you're it, look, if I your team is winning, your just, individual numbers should in? be more efficient. Can I, can look, I just, I'm not even I'm not even trying to argue it and say like one side is right or wrong. 
I think everyone that just indulges this argument is wrong as hell. <laughs> everyone should just be able to just be like, you know what? The Celtics are having a great season. <laughs> The Tatum, question hey, wasn't about Tatum the Celtics, Tatum, though. The question was about Celtics Jason Tatum. Tatum. Like Mars and I have been the quietest this whole I, all, all I said, All I did was address the Luka had many games going like two for nine from three. So and uh, and the only thing I just want to ask you, get, you just ran down with, with Jason Tatum. Yeah, ask and I said, Jason Tatum does it Mars, too. That's it. That's all I did there. The whole time. And Mars, how did you get there? Because Tatum was getting cooked. Therefore, I don't, we but need I don't to know how Luka got brought up. Yeah, I don't know how Luka got brought up. Yeah, I don't know how Luka got brought into it either. That's my point. And that's the problem I have. He's trying to compare Tatum to Luca. Like, but, and but I'm seeing, I... I'm reading the comments of the clip that came out of me talking about people comparing Tatum to Luca. People genuinely think Jason Tatum's better than him. That's can I? Crazy. Can I just? Can I just throw one thing into the mix as well? I'm gonna just Throwing say this: the whole up. like the whole conversation about what what Tatum is doing in the fourth quarter. I just think right now it doesn't matter because of how bad they're beating teams. But this is the caveat. <clears throat> This conversation on this episode on this day, this is going to come back up if they have a collapse in the playoffs because then they're going to go to his fourth quarter shooting performances. And I'm going to say this again. I don't want to go off the rails here because, listen, I found myself defending Jason Tatum because I do think y'all be talking about him like he's a scrub, like he's an average player, like he's a mid-tier basketball player. And I don't think that's the case. However, them playoff games, um, they're going to get close. They're going uh-huh. to be decided by yes, 10 to ten to 4 points. That's going to matter late. And if Jason Tatum does not arrive in those fourth quarters, then I think this conversation will have some relevance. But I just think right now, I think the, the, the Celtics are truly only judged by their postseason performance. Instead, at this okay, point. instead of they're not course, measured by what they're doing. Jason in the how do you feel about Jason Clearly by his stats. instead of fourth course, how do you feel about Jason Tatum's clutch stats? Because that's the fourth course that actually matters. So what exactly is this? What, what what exactly is this clutch stat? Because we're only talking about buckets. I'm not, that's all I'm we're talking not, about. Okay, um, Jason, okay. Is, is that all we're talking about? Numbers. You got to give me numbers. Is that all we're talking about, Jason? Because this, I can I can read it. Go ahead, Mars. Give me the numbers. Give me the numbers. Jason Tatum in the clutch this season. So Boston have had 24 clutch games. Well, that he's played in. I don't know if he's missed. Right. Um, he's averaging two and a half points in those situations, but it's only a five minutes. Five minutes on the last five minutes of the game. Um, shooting shooting 32.6 percent from the field. Okay, yep. one bucket. And 33% from three. 80% okay. from the free throw line. Mm-hmm. And his assist to turnover ratio is 0.5 to 0.3. So not really about uh, they make it that's, on yet. that's ugly. Okay, my okay, only so thing is this. Gross. Okay, I'm not gonna say I'm in love with him, Mars, because I'm really not. However, mm-hmm. I'ma just say this. This is, I think, the measuring stick for him, bro. Like, I think mm-hmm. unfortunately, Jason Tatum has entered the and I and I feel bad because he's what 26 years old, but he's entered the are you gonna win a championship or not realm? And and unfortunately, I hate that he is there because there are other players who are not in that area and they're damn near in the close age proximity to him, but that's where he is. It feels like he's at. And so it's I, literally I, just I, 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 I just wanna I just wanna yeah, make it clear. No, I think I think Ron I think Ron is straight hating on Jason Tatum. I think Ron is just straight hating on Jason Tatum. But I also think it's crazy that I think it's crazy that we keep comparing Jason Tatum to Luca every time there's a conversation about Jason Tatum. It's not fair to it's not fair to Jason Tatum. I think both are true. I think Ron brought up Jason Tatum just to hate on him. I think that's true. Whether Ron likes it or not, I think I think he's just actively hating on him. But I also think the defense of Jason Tatum can't be just to run to Luca every time. That, no, that can't it's not. Be, he's not he's, he's, Luca is not just a measuring stick, Mars. We're not just going to go to Luca, right? I'm, and 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 I'm on record saying this. I think he's the best small forward in the game. Can we go to KD? It's not like he's terrible, and it's not like he's terrible in the postseason. He's not terrible in the postseason. He was. He's had some. He's had some inconsistent. He's had some inconsistent games, but he's also had some damn good games too. Damn good games where he's pushed his team over the top. Now, when you're talking about the best players in the mm-hmm. game. When you're talking about, uh, I don't think he's as good as Joker. I don't think Giannis. I don't think Giannis neither. And and at that point, and and, and Luca, I still feel like him and Luca aren't that far away. But then after that, any one of you, any one of them other dudes, I'm not putting them ahead of him. Any one of them, I won't do. Can it. we go to KD? Can we're we like, let's. I, 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 please. How good are? Please. please. Let me look. I don't even Mars, Mars, I don't this even is, know. Mars, I don't, I don't know, even know, but I know they're talk, better. Dama. I can talk. Uh, I, I don't Chase, even know. Chase, 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 
I, I just look. I just Shay's I'm, averaging. I'm ready to be amazed right now, Mars. He, but, uh, say that again. Three points per game in the clutch. Yeah, so Uh-oh. in three Uh-oh. minutes, three point two minutes, three point two points. Fifty eight point eight percent from the field. <sighs> 30% from three and 87% from the line with um, assist to turnover, just the turnover. Point six, point six assists to point one turnovers. <clears throat> so, Almost better. So, so, I mean, sound, the numbers sound. are better. The numbers and are in better. 28 games, in 28 games, right? So, objectively, the, better. The, the numbers are better than Tatum's, yeah, probably less high popping, right? Well, he's he ever he scores more points than he's probably more efficient. It's two point five to three point two. The sample is always going to be small because there's only it's like three years into this. One bucket. He does, he does average 58%, more points. Fifty eight percent compared to thirty three percent is crazy. It's a, it's a, it's a oh, difference. absolutely. I, that that part I won't argue. I, that part I won't argue, Damo. Yes, mm-hmm. it, it, it's crazy. Yeah. No, I, I, you pulled the fourth quarter numbers, the, or was it the uh, last? fourth I, I fourth quarter numbers for SGA? He averages five and a half a game. Same assists as Tatum. Uh, Shoots fifty six from the field and forty five for almost forty six from three in the fourth quarter. If I recall, which is crazy, is that different from the clutch in the fourth quarter? I do. So think that, JW, I think JW got, leads that team in scoring in the fourth. I think. They got a I mean, yeah, I mean, the only he, he has Jaylen less Brown volume. Closes, Jalen Brown closes games for the Celtics and Tatum ice. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, and at the end of the day, like the 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 biggest thing for me is you can't just say if the Celtics win it then Tatum is is completely relegated of all these allegations. It still matters. I mean, I like at the end of the day, if we're just talking about the team, like it doesn't matter. You win a championship. That's the goal. You did it. Yep. Congrats. Yep. But for these more specific combos of like, is Jason Tatum a does he deserve to be up there in the big dogs with these discussions? Mm-hmm. Because he can't, he's proven he's not efficient enough in late game situations. Like if you win a championship, you win a championship, celebrate it. Celtics fans celebrate it, but Tatum fans that are going to try to put him up here with the other big dogs, those guys that you mentioned, chill. I don't think he's he's there. I think he's right under I mean, him. If he went, if he wins a championship, why does he not deserve that? Because team success does not equal individual success. But if he's the because best be, player, be, be, but, but what if he's the best player? Doesn't matter. That team success. Okay. One hundred percent. Wait, so Shaq for, Shaq can't shoot I'm, free I'm, throws. I'm, is he a good free throw shooter now because the Lakers won a championship? No, it's because the numbers say that he's not that. So what if the numbers no. say that. That Tatum no is not that. He's still not that We're just because he won a championship. No, but his, his point is winning doesn't absolve, absolve someone from their weaknesses. The weaknesses exactly. no, what I'm is, so no, no, you said, but what I'm saying is you said before. Right. You said before that he wasn't even a tier one, you know, tier one superstar. Tier no, one he said, no, he said no, he, was. he said I, he, I said he, he said he's the I, most inconsistent of those tier ones. Of those oh, guys. most yeah. inconsistent. Okay. I said he's not in that tier one for me, but he said. Oh, okay. Those and and, I, and I, I understand. Say, what's, good, if, what's wrong with being jumping to that tier if you win a championship? But I, I didn't realize you had him in that tier already. Yeah, he, yeah. Right. And I don't, I don't, I like, I don't look at people who don't have him in tier one as crazy. But I'm like, look, if if he's not at the very top of your tier two, you're insane. Mm. It's. For me, it's like guys like him and D Book that are those fringe guys that if they're if you put them oh, tier wait, two, they better be at the top. One? Wait, how big is tier one to you? Uh, I got my list. You're saying D Book? I D. So I'm like, one, two, one, three, like four, five, six. I got seven guys tier one. Okay, so that makes sense if you have Tatum at the top of tier two. Okay, yeah, he's like he's the number one. Him and Booker, I like him, Booker, Tyrese, and uh, probably mm-hmm. JB and Ant maybe are all at the top of tier two. Okay, okay, interesting. All right, y'all. Speaking of, we, we were talking about Tatum and we compared him to SGA, but as you guys can see, the title of the show is Is SGA a bona fide superstar? So now, speaking of tiers, I got to ask you guys, what tier would you classify SGA on? Is he on that top superstar tier? Or do you think SGA is just the tier below? Has he reached that level yet based on what he did last year and him just annihilating the league this year? Where do you guys have SGA? Damo, I'm going to start with you. Talk to us about how I, you feel about SGA. I'm gonna be honest. My heart is telling me he's tier. He's in tier one. He has all the tools to be in tier one and everything. My gut is my gut is telling me he's top of tier two, just because it is so early and there are still things we genuinely need to see from him to put him in that class for me. If we're just talking about regular season superstars, cool, he's there. But a superstar to me, a tier one guy to me, they have to have some form of moment, some sort of relevance, some sort of aura when it comes to the playoffs. So I, I, I'm not saying, oh well, I don't think he's gonna do any. I gotta see it. I gotta see it. I need to see something. Like with Ant, I'm, I'm ready to push Ant crazy because I seen him. I seen dog in him in the playoffs. That's all I need to see. 
and then we went into the summer, and then the hype started. With SGA, it's like he got the same push as Ant without having to put in as much work, and it's kind of crazy. So I will say, heart saying tier one, my gut, I I'm going top of tier two. It doesn't hurt my heart, brother. No, it doesn't. This is actually really good basketball talk. You just want to hurt me, and you can't. I already oh, told you that. You were goofy. We're actually having a really good conversation, my man. If you pay attention, you might learn something. <laughs> goofy. But keep going. I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> keep, keep, keep going. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Like, keep going. You're actually making you actually. We actually having a really good. We actually having a really good conversation. Absolutely. So, <laughs> when did so, so so let me let me, let me ask you let me ask you this, Damo. When in your in, in your estimation, when did when did SGA become elite? In your estimation, the, just around the board for you guys. Last year. When did, last when did, year. Last year. So so we're clear. And when did <clears throat> what, what 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 would you constitute as elite? I think being top five in statistical categories. Right. Like, so, uh, like across the board, being able to, to like look at the top of most lists and see mm -hmm. one guy's name is like, yeah, he's elite. He's doing he's a lot of elite, things for a basketball you know. team at a high level. So, so that's, Dennis is elite. Yeah, he's an elite basketball player. Sure. Uh, okay, then Shay's been elite for like seventeen years. <laughs> so, <laughs> with, 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 with that be so, with that being said, last year was when he entered the elite category, right? He's Just got so his hall pass. He's he's right. innocent until proven guilty. Right. So, and and we haven't seen him in the postseason, which to Damo's point. That stuff matters. That stuff matters because I watched Anthony Edwards in the postseason last year who didn't shoot the ball great against the Lakers but did the other stuff to show that I will do the other things in order for us to have a chance to win. That shows mm -hmm. me that that's a complete player. We have yet to see that from SGA. But he moves from that last year to this year where he is playing at a high level. Now, I want to make sure we clear, SGA only is a year behind Jason Tatum. That's it. He's only one year behind him. And when we're talking about SGA being in the top five, top 10, I always felt like what you did in the, I, I, I've never felt like you should, you could just show up and be as good as everybody else immediately. I feel like you could be in the conversation. I'll give you an example. Lo and I had a conversation and Lo asked me, chill, was Michael Jordan better than Terry Cummins in 1985? I think he was better than – I think you can have the conversation that he was better than Terry Cummings. He wasn't better than Ralph Sampson. He was not. And those are the five players that was in the NBA. He was the fifth player that was in the NBA at that time. He was becoming that. So a guy like SGA, when he's showing up to this elite level, we have to match what he's doing in terms of an elite player to other elite players who've been doing it for a long time. And that kind of stuff matters to me. It might not matter to you guys, but that kind of stuff matters to me. I think SGA is a phenomenal basketball player, but until I see him get it done in the postseason when the temperature <laughs> rises and the bets get higher and I've seen guys fold in the playoffs, they look great in the regular season and they don't look good in the playoffs, I can't talk about him like I talk about the rest of those guys yet. Mm. Well, look mm. at the teams. Like I know that SGA is one year behind him and – also, comparing to how they came in the league and how equipped they were to play NBA basketball when they first got to the league, very different. Um, like, I'll, I'll disagree with Damo saying, like, he's like, oh, man, I feel like Ant had the slower push. Like, no, bro, SGA has been grinding. And he did not come into the league like in a superstar caliber player. He earned every bit of that junk. And it's been a slow grind for, I mean, anyone who's been following his, his career. Like, it's, it's, it's been really, really slow. And then look at the teams he's been on. I mean, I think he had one – true like playoff caliber team uh in the weird like danilo gallinari chris paul thunder year when they uh they think it was the, the rockets in the, in the bubble, bubble. In the bubble yeah, yeah and, and he, he was I in mean, the playoffs it, in his rookie year in, on the clippers and they lost to Golden state and then he yeah and that was that he really fun it took a game off him now he played that much I no, he did I, I, I remember he seeing him guard steph curry a couple times he hasn't he hasn't been in the playoffs yet he played in that series he played in that series it's different though it's different he played in that series he played in that series but he has not been in the playoffs where it's his team yet he has not oh yeah it hasn't happened that's that's fact that's the and and look at the teams that he's been on as well i mean look at and then compare that to the teams that jason tatum has been on it's not even close um but like I, I feel like he's a tier one guy. He's a tier one superstar. And and I do also realize that all the other guys that I put him up there with, they've they've proven it. They've they've proven that they can show up time and time again, whether it's the regular season, the playoffs, no matter what point in the game it is. They all have done it before. But if Shea this year, if they are in, in a playoff matchup where they should win and they struggle, or maybe they get bounced first or second round, and it's it's eyes are on Shea of like, okay, well, he he wasn't here. 
then yeah, he can, he can be relegated out of that. But for me, he's, he's got the hall pass of like, it's yours until you lose it. Um, well, Slim, that's the reason that's the only reason the I'm dunk. like, yeah. That's that's the only reason Slim I'm saying maybe maybe we should hold off on it calling him just a superstar cuz we know if he goes to the playoffs this year if he does, if he if he plays good they don't win it'll be okay but if he falls let's say for some reason he falls then we got to hear everybody talking about oh he's a a, a postseason dropper he's a choker he's a all this and that. Yeah. you know what I'm saying I, yeah. I don't really want I don't really want to hear that you know what I'm saying cuz it's like he definitely got the talent He's got Jay the he's as far as far as as far as that go, he wanted he wanted a better dude. So Jay, you know Jay Rob, quick question. I hear you, how, bro, many, I hear you. how many superstars are in the NBA today? March 6, 2024. How many super one defined superstar? Two, how many of them? How many are there today in the game? Um I think I think one of the criteria is like your ability to fill up seats. I mean, I think that matters in a superstar. Box you have office. to be box office. Um Obviously, best I think best player on the basketball team. Um, I think you have to have shown some signs of legitimate playoff success. You don't always have to completely win a championship, but you have to show some playoff success. And honestly, I want to say you have had to won an MVP or been a perennial MVP oh, candidate okay. in like the top, but not not like you finishing fifth, sixth. You're finishing top three finishes top four finishes, things of that nature. I think those are what you need, at least minimum, to win a superstar just because you asked me that on the fly. Can you but lose gonna, Huh? Can you lose superstar? Yeah, because, yes, I do think sure, you can man. lose it. Yes. I do think you can lose it because I think over time, people aren't feeling coming to see you. Your performance is starting to drop off. I think even if sometimes as you age out, maybe somebody is taking the reins of your basketball team. Um, So I think those things kind of segue into it. But I look at SGA, Ron, to answer your question. I look at SGA and damn, man, I, as somebody, y'all know, I have a, a legitimate thing when it comes to winning. I believe in how you thrive in the most competitive environments. But I'm going to put SGA at the back of tier one. Maybe he's the, 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 the right outside the exclusive part. But he's in tier one for me because I'm gonna give him the hall pass as well in in this regard. One, I don't I yeah I, I disagree with what Damo said. I think SJ has earned every bit of the spotlight that he has been given. You got I think people forget he was he was a throwaway piece in a trade, and he that you know a lot of us look back on it and they say thought, hey, he wasn't a throwaway piece. Doc didn't want to give him up. He didn't. He had to. Doc say a lot. Of, all I'm gonna say, uh, he, Doc he did say not want to give him up. No, I'm but not if, if, I'm not if gonna, being I'm not honest, say if, he's lying. but if we being honest, Doc, Doc, Doc had to Doc, give him up. Doc, he had lost, to. Doc was no also way was a he, he a throwaway. Doc no Rivers way. was also a consultant from the Bucks, consultant for the Milwaukee Bucks, and now he's their coach. All I'm saying is, Doc say a lot of stuff. I'm not saying that's not true. You could be right, but ultimately, SGA has turned has turned and then blossomed into this phenomenal player. And again, I think there is something to say about a player who has 1,000% sped up the clock. And I've said this before, but sped up the clock of a franchise. These are young players who are at the top of the Western Conference. Not only that, listen, my only fear for the Oklahoma City Thunders and SGA's playoff success, like I'm going to put my nuts on the table and go all in on his playoff success, at least in his first, in his first series. Because I'm just going to pray, I'm going to pray that they don't get matched up with the Los Angeles Lakers and get like the, get the Warriors or something in the first round. And I think they could win a series to at least, for, for the critics to at least solidify it. He can play well in the playoffs. They need a piece or two to get better to go forward to be a contender. But I believe in SJ. I think he fills seats. I think he's. I think he could change infrastructure in in Oklahoma City as a as a sports city for what he can be. I think he is that box office. And listen, they've 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 done some great things in terms of who they have drafted. I think they have a lot of assets to bring in a. a, a I, I think they need another big, they got preferably a, a four. They have the assets to do it. Again, I've preached that if they go get Laurie Markkinen, I think the sky is the, the limit for that team all yeah. through and through. Um, so 
It's not a great I, roster. Like it's, it's not. They're it's not a great roster. Their talent, and, for and, sure. Oh, you agree with me? You move. You take SJ off Portland Trail Blazers. You I love Chet. I love. I love Jalen. But they're not. They're. They're not even. They're not. They are a play-in team at best. At best, they are not going to be the team that they are now. And so, ultimately, when I look at SJ's impact on this team, and this is why he's my MVP of the league. I think the term most valuable he has shown to be the most valuable player to a team because I just don't know if Oklahoma city is in this, in where they are right now in, in the Western conference, if it wasn't for this kid's impact. And I also believe that SGA is having a, he's clearly the, the emotional leader inside that locker room. They feed off of him. All those young players are mature. I think they play high level basketball just off of what they learned from watching him. And he's 25 years old doing it. I think it's what makes it even more impressive. He's young. And these guys, he's the unequivocal leader of this team. And I like adding Gordon Hayward because you you added an old head to that locker room that I think they have a lot of respect for. And I think that's important as well. Two questions real quick. One, talk to me. So do you feel play so to be a superstar using that criteria that you get? I know mm-hmm. it was just rushed off the top of head. Do you yeah. feel they need all three or they're gonna be exception? If you have two, you don't need this one type or do um, I think three. I think I think you could have like three because I think when Luca first got into the NBA, I think we knew we had a superstar on our hands. And I also mm-hmm. when I look at Victor Wembiyama, I think we have a superstar on our hands. And you know, so I, mm-hmm. I think I think I think you need to just have some. Some, 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 somewhat of the of that of that mix. You know what I'm saying? I think you need a culmination of those things. But okay, because um, I, I, I was going to ask. I'm like, so is Carmelo not a uh, no? Was he not a superstar because he didn't win an I, MVP? I, I, I think he one. was. Yeah, but that's okay. why I said he had to be a perennial. Like Carmelo yeah. Anthony was always in the MVP conversations at his peak. So I think those things matter as well. Because at the end mm-hmm. of the day, I'm only one guy could win it. So that's. You know, sure. I can't I can't fault somebody for that. And I also understand, mm-hmm. like, you know, from just being like a journal a, a journalist perspective is, you know, they get fatigued when voting for these things as well, too. So that's also the mm-hmm. issue. You know, sometimes you go with the best stories involved and things of that nature. So and my second question would be, do you have John Morant also in tier one? Yeah. I think okay. when he's healthy, he's a tier one superstar. I love John Morant. Okay. I love John Morant. I think. Again, another guy who I think completely changed the infrastructure of an organization, changed the trajectory with the way he plays the game of basketball. I think, jo- and I think John ja Morant of that of that culmination of, of of things that you need to be a star. I think you're gonna have a culmination of them things, honestly. All right, because he already bounced off Mars. Down he just had some troubles. You feel me? Like you know what I'm saying? Injuries, the gun stuff. Ox and Mars, I gotta hear you guys on SGA. Ox, you go first. Is he a bona fide superstar? And what no, tier would you put him in? He's not a superstar. Um, skill set wise, you know, yeah, he, he got it, but I you know, superstar is just beyond that. So now he's not a superstar. Um I want him to build that roster around him a little more, get him a, a, a another big man down there. I would like him to try to he go get Valentunas. I think I would like him to go get Valentunas in the offseason, maybe grab a couple shooters. You know, something like that. I, I, I like Lori marketing, but I don't think that's the answer for OKC. I think they need to go get another big and then go get a couple of shooters and they'll be OK. Once they do that, he'll be on his way to superstardom because he'll be able to start making some deep playoff runs and really show that he really got it. Because I don't see him folding in the playoffs. He he don't got that type of game that you that that folds. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't see Steady. it. He don't he don't got it. Yeah, he don't got to win to me. I, I don't I don't need you. To, I don't need to see you win. Multiple rounds in the playoffs. I just need to make sure you're not gonna fold and you're not gonna let leave mm-hmm. us hanging. Once you once I can see that, then yeah, we could we could talk about it. So I think he's on his way to superstar him as soon as they just bolster up that roster a little bit. Um, but not yet though. Not yet. He got the what game. if he, he averaged like 35 in the playoffs? They lose the round, they lose round one. You good on it? He's Luca. He's Luca. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. You don't, he don't even gotta do that. He don't gotta do that, bro. He can't yeah, he, he don't gotta do that. All he gotta do is just not fold. Just just don't fold. I agree with that. He got it so. Mars. Well, by my weird, janky, stupid definition of superstar, no, Shay is not a superstar. Janky. <laughs> um, so by that definition, no, he's he's not a superstar. Um, but I think he's one of the ten best players in the league. I think you can he can be the best player on a championship team realistically. Um, and I think 
he's been at that level, like top 10 ish level for like two years. I think he's been at an elite level for like, I think it's like his fourth season. Um, Mars, before you so, go any further, when we, last yes. season when we started talking about SGA, how were we discussing him? Before the seasons, though, we're going into the 22 23 season. Is are we saying SGA is at the end of the season a top 10 player? No, I don't think that was what people, I don't, no, I don't think that. I think the, I think, well, for me, I was talking about top 20, top 15 ish. That's what I was talking about. Cause I was saying, I was good with top 20 at that point. I was good with but top then, 20. But then, then, then he started like making 90% of his free throws and get into the line like prime James Harden. And it was, it was <laughs> over from there. Right. So, right. but so yeah, I think, I think he did get better quicker than I thought. Uh, mo than most people thought and now he's just he's sustaining it and he's improving and now he can make step yeah. back threes of consistency his back to the basket game's improving so he's just getting better but by my weird janky stupid definition of superstar i don't think he's ever going to be a superstar so but i don't think that's a knock on him i think he can be like a top five player in the world but, why Moss? why why won't he ever be a superstar yeah because by because by, my by your definition by your definition the, why the only because the, the only superstars right now to me are LeBron and Steph. Yeah, I figured that when you said when you said he wasn't one and he's top ten, I literally figured that it was like face of the NBA. You um, got you got like in my like for me there hasn't been many superstars in NBA I do what you're saying. Like it's you got to transcend the game. You got to be above the game mm -hmm. of basketball to be a superstar when magic be larry bird when when Wemby can be a superstar yeah I and see. now that like there's certain guys who i think are great and who are better than lebron and steph are right now Jokic, luca and mm -hmm. they're uh, better than them yeah yes yeah um I don't, even, I don't even want to hear what your definition of yeah. a superstar is man. they're bet they're better than him but they don't they don't transcend the game like lebron and steph do they don't Slim, do, yeah, can you dig that, you, Slim? Like no, you talk about no, not even a little bit. It's not just about being a basketball player. Yeah, it's bigger than the it's game of just, basketball. It's, it's, it's uh, not yeah, that's all that. I'm saying. Super, Super for me, star? superstardom is bigger than just what you do on the court. Right. Kawhi Leonard yeah, is I agree. I, I understand what you said. But Kawhi Leonard has never been a superstar. I just, I guess, Slim, you did not care. Can we be honest for a second, Slim? You did not care about the Oklahoma City Thunder before Kevin Durant got on that crew. Couldn't care or less you no. don't care what's going on in cleveland before yeah, it was James also like got 10 there. but even if that even if that's true you don't even if as an adult you you still don't care what's going on in cleveland but if james prime james is in cleveland you're watching him because of james prime example with kevin durant you're watching oklahoma city thunder in your adult life because of Kevin Durant, you don't care about what's going I, on in Oklahoma City. That, 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 it's not I, just it's not just casuals it's like yeah. i mean you don't think anyone who's a first ballot hall of famer i guess well, no I that's true no uh, it's I, don't like, I, don't, I don't know how else to explain it other than like the game has gone global in the last like 30 or so years the superstars are the ones who not only push that forward they're recognizable anywhere like there, there's a little kid in south asia right now who knows steph curry but won't they don't know who john moran is but they know steph curry they know lebron james they don't know who luka Doncic is they don't know the NBA, but these guys' names are above me. Hey, I, I don't. Kobe I don't Bryant's subject myself to the, the casual NBA. fans' definitions of, of yeah. And that's why I said. That's why I said I'm not like I, I understand basketball perspective. Jokic is a superstar. No, nope. but that okay. Like, I, but I, I the best, the best basketball saying. player. That's why I said from my weird janky superstar definition. There's only two superstars. I, from I, a get, I get what you're saying. I just had there's a... more. There's more than two. But we're talking about for me is about transcending the game. The only super you got Magic Bird, Doctor J. MJ, Shaq, Kobe, Bron. LeBron, Steph. That's so you it. think you think Dirk is a part of that? Because he no. he revolutionized the game. He revolutionized he the game. That doesn't mean he like, that, so that, he, that's how, like there's, he tra he different. quite literally transcended the game of basketball. Yeah, and he's still not as he's still not as recognized. He had like, global like, impact. Still, he got Yao, all of Europe. Yao, Yao is all the one where like, I don't know how NBA. I feel about Yao Ming. Yao Ming okay. is like, he might be. I, yeah, I'm just yeah, trying to, like, I'm yeah, trying to fit I, players I, I, into yeah, your yeah, puzzle like, piece yeah. of a superstar because oh, everything you're saying, Dirk was, was, was that. He was Vince Carter for a little while. Yes. Like there's, there's other guys, but like 
Vince Carter wasn't better than Jokic. Vince Carter is definitely closer to a what superstar. What about Kevin Durant? Is Kevin Durant a superstar? Because you said just just Braun and Steph right now. Because uh, Kevin Durant falls I'm into that yes. list. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to be honest. Even though he was quiet, he's a quiet I wouldn't argue. I wouldn't I'm argue if yes. someone said he was. I don't know. But like because for me, like the surefire, like I'm saying the ones who to me are no debate. No debate right. is LeBron, Steph, Kobe, Shaq. MJ, Magic, Bird, Dr. J. Mm -hmm. To me, mm -hmm. no debate. They're superstars. Right. There's other guys who can be, who I wouldn't argue if you said they were. I wouldn't argue if you said KD was. I wouldn't argue if you said Yao Ming. Wouldn't argue if you said T-Mac. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't. Mm. Large one was a superstar. Like, there's other names I wouldn't argue with. But those guys are the ones who I think is just, they're undeniable superstars. And then from a talent perspective, just like basketball players. Jokic is a superstar, Embiid, Luka, Giannis. So your your Kawhi. definition of a superstar is more based off of like yes, it's, draw it, to the game, yeah, not it's about not just, basketball. It's not just basketball players. That's not why I don't like have, that's why I don't like having superstar discussions because like you can be a worse player than someone and I think you're a superstar. So I don't like having superstar discussions. Do I think SJ is a tier one NBA player? No, no. I think the tier one is Jokic, Embiid, Luka, and Giannis. That's the tier one. Everyone if the, if, if the, the random table. person, not just in America, if the random person can pick out Steph Curry, if the random person can pick out SGA, that's a superstar in Sweden. Like Giannis says, he wants to when he retire, he wants people to not recognize. Him. That's not going to happen. Now that's Tim Duncan, happen. Tim Duncan yeah. might have been the best player in the world for five years. We had the discussion an hour ago. Right. I don't think Tim Duncan was a superstar at any point. As respectfully as well, I don't think he was a superstar. So, like that, that's all. That's all I'm really saying. But that's why, like, if you're a superstar and someone else isn't, it doesn't mean the superstar is the better player. Like, I can think LeBron is still a superstar. I think there's many people better than LeBron right now. So do I think SGA can be the best player in the championship team? Yes. Do I think he can be a top five player in the NBA? Yes. Do I think he's a tier one NBA player? No. He's tier two. All right, fellas. I now have to get everybody's top five point guards. And this is more so to, to measure where Shea is at. But also just to see how crazy you guys' top five could be or can be. Slim, I'm gonna start with you. What's your top five NBA point guards right now? So I got Luca at one. That's my Mavs goggles. You can you can accredit to that, whatever. I think he's the best. Uh I got Shea at two. And then under Shea, I got Tyrese. Under Tyrese, I got Steph. And then Trey Young at five. And I, I really, I, I will not tolerate Trey Young disrespect. Yeah, this, I won't do it. This nigga Slim is drunk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Slim. Yeah, I mean, you can, I, I yeah, you know, Slim. guess, Slim guess, who's, guess who's, trying, who's, trying to push Jalen Brunson hey, propaganda. Hey, hey, guess who I got yeah, at six? Guess who I got man. right at six? And I, and I, I juggled we with this. Small Murray. I got Brunson. No, I got Brunson at, at six as honorable mention. Jeez, and then even under, under, I got, I got Murray below Dane, honestly. I, I'm not a big Dane guy, but either way. I got Luca, Shea, uh, Tyrese, Steph, Trey. And Trey's doing crazy things this year. The only reason I, I have Tyrese solidified above him is because Tyrese can give you something two way and, and Trey cannot. But the numbers are crazy. Tyrese, who? Halliburton, Halliburton, Moss. That's what we talking two, eh? about. Yes. You don't Play think he's a good defender? No. Hell no. Hell no. You don't think he's ser more serviceable than, no. than some of these other guys? No. No. I think, he, I think no. he's the worst defender on the list. I think overall, Slim, I think he's the worst. Trey? No. Trey? No. Trey? No. Of, of the five games Steph? you just gave, I think he's the worst defender. Yo, you just said, you just said, Slim, that you are, that you watch basketball where Portland is not benching nobody. <laughs> if you're watching basketball to that close of a detail, you don't think Trey Young is given the best effort, even though he is small. It's probably the best effort of his career on the defensive end of the basketball. I in mean, terms of improvement, effort doesn't matter. You it's said how about what you can do. on defense. I mean, well, look, effort does matter, but if the the end the, the means doesn't matter as long as the end is there. Effort effort doesn't matter. So you don't. No, care that's about not what I'm saying. What, what he's what saying, saying is someone someone can try as saying. hard as they can and be a worse defender than someone who's not trying. That's what he's saying. Yeah, you I, I understand. You. you said Tyrese Halliburton is a better defender than Steph Curry. I yes. need an explanation for that. He is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I because, I, because, because I said, because I said yeah, so, it's because... not an answer, Slim. No, sorry, sir. Yeah. yeah hey, Slim, I mean, Slim for what it's, for what it's worth, I tried to argue this a while why, ago. Maybe and you I, are and seeing I just something stopped. I'm not seeing when you watch Indiana games. So he's a better defender because. What 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 about, what about what about, because it's obvious that he does, what about Tyrese Halliburton on the defensive side of the basketball moves you? What does he do that moves you? Tools. Tools more than anything. 
And what are those two? At the end of the teams? day, no one's. I don't. I don't think people are are picking on Tyrese as much as they are Steph and, and Trey at this point in their careers. So they hunt him. So they hunt Trey Young. They hunt him more than they hunt. And, and it's it's because of, it's because of the tools. Correct. And 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 at the end of the day, I do like. I'm starting to to come onto this take a little bit more that team defense is really all that matters, and individual defense doesn't really matter that much. Mm. Because it's you look at it, you can always hide a guy. You know, having two guys no, on the can't. floor, you look at no, you hold can't. on, hear me out. Having two guys on the floor, you got Dame and Malik Beasley out there. Right. It's gonna you're gonna have some trouble, especially if they're both guarding right. the same uh range of, of positions. However, you can you can always hide one guy. You can pre-switch anything to keep them out of actions. You can game plan for that. But sure. pick honorable guys will get picked on, and it's sure. not gonna be perfect every time. Sure. So if Halliburton has the tools. Like you just mentioned, why Correct. isn't he a better defender then? Um, I mean, he's not elite. I wouldn't ever say he's elite, but I think he's and I don't, I don't expect that. I don't expect the guy to be an All NBA performer. I do not expect every, him to be all 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 league defenders. However, when you're talking about a guy at six five, and you're talking about a guy in Trey Young who is challenged in size, but will give the effort, a guy with those tools that you said, right? A guy with those tools that you just said, he should be significantly better, and he's not. He should. He should. But I'm not and looking not. at where they should be based on what tools they have. I'm just looking at you just end of the tools. day production. That's what you just brought up. Yeah, so I did Tyre, bring up tools so because Tyre's he doesn't Halliburton have better tools. Is, so Tyrese Halliburton is better because he has better tools. Because he, but when, but I mean, when does he maximize his, his, his tools no, defensively? But when Probably we spoke not. about Trey Young's effort, you said the means doesn't matter. Like, as long as the ends are met, the means Max. doesn't matter. So, we, so Tyrese Halliburton has tools, but he's doing nothing. So the meet, the ends have not been met with his tools. Trey Young might not be meeting the ends with his effort. They're in the same boat. Tyrese Halliburton has tools and he's doing nothing with them. Trey Young is giving effort and he's still not a good defender. They're both doing the same thing. It, look, at, at the, at, at, at the end of the day, if you know, if if, if people are, are are getting picked on, or sorry, if, if Trey Young is getting picked on more than Tyrese Halliburton, that's usually a good indicator of of who the better. Defender. But anyone can be hidden. It's not perfect. Anyone can be hidden. Put put uh, Trey Young on a better defensive team. They just hide him. And then okay, he's a yeah, better defender I mean, than Halliburton now. Well, that's fine. I mean, that's 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 fine. So he's the he, worst defender because his team defense is worse. Like no. his team's defense is worse. Because if he was on a team that could hide him, would you say he's the worst defender? Because now he's not getting picked on because he's just being hidden. And I, I don't mean, think like, Halliburton can. I don't think you can hide Halliburton. I don't yeah. think you can hide anybody. But, but if he, he but his I'm argument is that, that Trey Young gets picked on more. The reason Trey Young gets right. picked on more is because Atlanta don't have a good enough defensive scheme to where they can keep Trey Young out of actions. So if they right. had a defensive scheme to where they could keep Trey Young out of actions, would you then say he's a better defender than Tyrese Halliburton because he gets picked on less? Because that I mean, would mean look, that the team. Because then you're saying Trey Young's worse because the pieces around him aren't good at hiding him. That doesn't make sense. No, that, that individual st defensive statistics without context don't mean anything. Even team defensive statistics without context, to me, don't mean that much. You need, you always need context. I hear what you're saying. And, like, I'm not going to die on this take of Tyrese being, like, this elite defender. But from the eyeball test, from the basketball that I have watched, right. that's what I've seen. And I don't think that's crazy. I, I, I think you can call Slim, it. Slim, I stand with you. Ron, you better not, Ron. You better not, Ron. If you say it, Ron, I'm going to say it's not a bad defender. I'm going to say it's not a bad defender. I'm going to say it's not a bad defender. Halliburton, a better defender than Trey, is insane man, to me. Halliburton, a better defender than Steph, makes me. Yeah, let's watch film. Let's watch film. I, I love film. Head, uh, I live in the film. I was now. never under the impression that Tyrese was just that trash of a defender. But yeah, then you were trying to tell me you were better than Jamal Murray but, on defense. So yeah, you, you did. did. But, oh my but, god. But then, but then again, but then again, you guys have come up here and said De'Aaron Fox is not a great defender. And I just completely agree, disagree with that. Who, who is, yeah, I don't think hey, but like but like Slim said though, let's watch some film. I'm with that. I'm gonna say I'm let's definitely with the film. I'm with all that. Because I think we can take the playback. The conclusion, the conclusion that we'll probably draw is that it, it doesn't matter that much. It doesn't matter that much. I gave a slight edge to a guy for the sake of a list. I'm not going to die on that hill of, of saying that this guy's no, so much a, a good defender. Let me finish. You, you Let, me finish. I mean, I Let me finish. Let me finish. But if we do want to watch, we'll probably find that you can scheme for any weak defender on any team, especially weak guard defenders. You can always well, scheme but, for that. But Slim, you say, you saying that the um... – but the the perimeter, the man to man defense isn't as important as the team defense, and I beg to differ. I think that's actually the basis of team defense. It your is. ability, your ability to keep your man in front of you is everything. But, right. You know, we're, I'm not I'm not putting me putting you in that situation. So the that you know the one on one man defense is is you know it's not everything, but it's the basis of 
what we're building our it's, team. It's the building around. blocks, but and, and, and I think Minnesota is a great example because Minnesota is a team that has a lot of fantastic individual defenders, even out outside of Rudy Gobert, Jaden McDaniels, Nas Reed, Anthony Edwards, Kyle Anderson, all guys that can guard a lot of different positions. They can keep guys in front. And even if they can't, they recover well. But the piece that holds it all together is having the safety blanket of Rudy Gobert around the rim and being able to scheme to keep him around the rim more than he's on the outside. Cause teams will try to just pull him out, but any action they are like pre-switching to get him on backside bottom help. So he can always be the one helping at the rim. That is the most important thing is the scheme. At the end of the day, you have all these pieces. There are other teams that have a lot of great defensive pieces and don't have awesome team defenses, but it's more about scheme. It's more about team defenses. What can you do with those pieces? So I, I get it. The building blocks are there. Um, but like I said before, the means don't really matter as long as you're getting the end. Winning fixes everything. Playing good defense fixes everything. It, it doesn't matter like the individuals <laughs> that make it happen. I agree with that, but Terry's hell of a so trash on defense. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, J-Rob, I need your top five point guards today. Um, I'm going to go Luca at one, SGA at two, Jalen Brunson at number three, hmm. four, Steph Curry, and then five, um, give me Damian Lillard. <laughs> eat it, eat it, Damo. Bay Area Kemba, eat it. Damo. If y'all really want, me to, really want me to be, if y'all want me to That's be right, worse, Damo. I could say LeBron, again. but I'm going to say Damian Lillard. So Jalen Brunson is better than Steph Curry now? No, nah, the, the title is this this season. Okay, so this season, Damian Lillard is better than Terry Halliburton? Either way, one of them is I mean, needs to come post, out. Post, post, uh, post-injury Halliburton is not moving me the same way he was to start the season. That's all. I think Dame is finally starting to come into his own with the Bucks. That's all. He has one good game. So hold on, hold on, hold on. He played trash oh, the oh, night before. All star oh. game, Halliburton. Yalla. is bad enough to get removed. Halliburton back, y'all. But hey, Dame back, finally y'all. getting his shit Yo, together. Can I, no, Dame oh, having this, one good yeah, game. Not, hold on, hold on, not Dame getting his stuff not together. together. Dame Mars, having one together. good I'm game. Getting it together, Mars. Y'all not about to jump me. The night before he was four for six. I'm gonna tell y'all why y'all not about to jump me. Y'all not about to jump me. Y'all not about to jump me over one by selection. Y'all not. Okay. Think on your lines, Rob. Y'all not jump me over one by selection. They'll jump you for anything. They'll, they'll yeah, jump you yeah. for comparing, <laughs> like, you can't, you can't this trash Brunson. smells a little bit better than this trash. You can't say Brunson's <laughs> over Steph because the list is this. Yo, season. I'm going to be honest. And then say would... Dame is still in the top no, five. No, I was going to say, listen, listen, at five, at five, I was going to go say Tyrese Halliburton. I, fi- I was going to say Tyrese, but, again, like I just said before, postseason Halliburton, where he already don't play no D, and if he's not impacting the offense the same way post injury, and this is why I defended him earlier and said I think the 65 game rule has been a hindrance for him because he's clearly trying to win awards. He's clearly trying to capitalize on the season that he started the year with, but he's falling off. It's the truth. I'm not. It is what it is. And it didn't look like it last because night because when I he was like cooking Luka. At this point, this did season. It the question is this season didn't look like it last night, night when he was cooking good. Kyrie. Did it slim? We can't guard him. I could have been more biased. I could have been even more biased, and I could have said Kyrie Irving. I could have said LeBron. Y'all chill on me throwing Dame in the mix. I'm throwing him into the fire. Hmm. Fuck it. All right. I mean, you said it was biased. That's fine. I'm mad at you. (laughs) Mars, top five point guards right now in the NBA based on this season. Did he ask? You. You. Oh. Oh, my God. Um, um, Luca. Shay Steph. Come on, Trey Halliburton. <laughs> we got the Luca, same five Mars. We're on the same page. Yeah, Luca, Luca, Shay Steph, Trey Halliburton. Yeah, I can dig it. I'll re- I respect it. One more time, Mars. Luca, Steph, Luca, Shay Steph, Trey Halliburton. Okay. Just based on this season. Damo. Well, I literally wanted to go first because I already knew Mars was going to have my list. Uh, no, Mars essentially has my list except for the four and five of Switch, but not to sound like a retweeter, then F it. I'm being nasty. Um, Jokic at one. Uh, Luka, <laughs> Luka two. I'm going to go Jokic, Luka, Shea, Braun, 
Sabonis. No, no. Sangoon. Sangoon. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> no, my foul spot. I was hey, him. No, no, no. Honestly, he Lamello. almost made the cut. Kate. Yes, yes, Lamelo. Because I'm saving my spot, my foul spot for my bias. If uh, J. Rap gets to be biased for Dame, I'm gonna use my bias. <laughs> and my foul spot. Yeah, Lamelo yeah, when he was healthy was ticking. Lamelo when he was healthy was ticking. Yo, listen, that five spot or it's interpretive. That five spot shit. Shout out to Lamelo, man. He was hooping before he got out. Big Axe, who is your top five point guards in the NBA right now? Uh, respect Steph Curry. Um, At one, go, yeah, I'm gonna go Steph, SGA, Luca, De'Aaron, Tyrese. That's no try. De'Aaron ever try? <laughs> nah, we don't. We don't work with Trey Young. Trey Young, stop playing with me, Slim. 20, 26 and eleven is twenty six and eleven. Nah, that's cool. Nah, that's I mean, nah, cool. That's what's up. No, twenty six and eleven is a creative. I don't even get you in an all star game no more, Slim. What'd you say? I'm not, I'm not mad. I don't even get you in an all star game no more. Yeah, I guess. I but guess De'Aaron not. ain't getting either. So, but a Sabonis is mm-hmm. is uh you know in the MVP conversation because he averages twenty thirteen and, and eight. But you know, twenty six and eleven, whatever. <laughs> It's not that's not anything. I mean, what are we talking about? What, why are we just yelling out stats? I'm not, I'm not okay. 26 and 11 is dope, though. That's what's up. But. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm poking holes. I want, I want to hear, I want to hear why you, you pick what you pick. Uh, we're not even gonna talk about the egregious Gilbert Arenas as list given that he just gave us. Put Luke at three, <laughs> like, we're not even gonna address it. He like, hates it. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we know he doesn't. We know he doesn't like Lucas. So. He said he's, he's like, take really him out of the league. Luka, he's he's like, that's the Luka. problem in the NBA. I put Luca at. I put Luca at three. Like that's he's okay. on the that's list. Like, that's like yeah. saying. That's like, the best that's like saying. Oh well, I put Jokic as the third best center in the league, so he's still top three. So that's not disrespect. Like, but he, yeah, well, like, I mean, you, 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 some NBA, people, bro. some people, some people got AD over uh, over over Jokic. I don't. They disrespect to Jokic, and they disrespect. But that's different though. Like, like it's the same racism. It's, it's, it's still racist. Well, here, hold on, hold on. I'll I'll stand on I'll 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 give you some ox. Like it depends on what you want from your point guard because to be a true point guard means you're getting other people more involved than yourself. You're the connector piece for the guys on your team. And the position has changed, but Shea's a, a more I'd say more of a, a pure point than mm-hmm. than Luca is. Trey is definitely a pure point guard, even though he's a scorer. You know, um, Steph is a scoring point guard, but he's still a point guard. So, I mean, I guess for that reason, I could see you bumping Luca down a little bit because he's a forward that plays like a point guard at the end of the day. And he, he scores a lot and he has got so much gravity and I'm not trying to take away from his playmaking ability, but his numbers are what they are because of his gravity as a scorer. And because he attracts he, he so much attention. He doesn't like Luca because he throws grenades and doesn't play defense in his eyes. That, that's it. Yeah, I, just, I mean, I like. I don't. I don't think it's crazy. Steph effort, effort, and, you know, Steph in uh, SGA over Luka, no big deal. You know, the, the, the bad, the bad defense yeah. reputation might be just as bad as the good defense reputation. The more like, I think the good. Re- I think the good defense reputation is worse. Actually. Man, Morris, you're trying to imply that Luca plays defense. I don't. No, I'm trying to like imply that the play. idea that Luka Doncic doesn't give any effort on defense is outdated. I've seen That's him watching. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't take this many possessions off. You can't decide to play defense for a couple possessions and then be like, "Oh, he's giving effort." Yeah, he did a couple times. Like anybody the, could just the, see the ball the coming. I, next the idea like, oh, that Luca is what he was defensively two years ago and he's just been terrible the whole time is just untrue. It's just flagrantly untrue. It's just it's a bad take that's based on nothing but belief that he doesn't do anything. It's based like, on no, watching no, basketball, Mars. That's what it's based. Yeah, on. Okay, so how are we watching the same games and reaching different conclusions? We just look at different. Look at it. So then, what are you seeing that is no effort? I'm seeing him not give effort. Literally, like I'm seeing, I'm seeing him just be lazy on defense. Like he's like, not, he's not, he's not he being lazy. Like, in all, in all this situations, happens, not, he's I'm not, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing you give second efforts on second efforts on defense. De- like Luke is fine with being when he's put in a situation where he can't, he he has to put in the extra effort to recover or put himself in a position to be able to play defense. He's not going to do that if he's not already in position to be able to be a hindrance from you getting from here to there. He's not going to put himself in the line. Is he, is he put? Is he putting in the initial effort? If he's in the position, yes. If he, if he's, was if he he's doing that before? Him? Come on, Morris. This is what, that's so what I'm my saying. Point of, my point of saying. Him, 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 go, him going the from idea here that he hasn't changed, changed is wrong. Yeah. That's all I said. Doesn't mean Morris, he's a you, good can't, you can't look. The you you can't. You can't be getting Fs on your report card and then come home with a D and be like, oh, I got a D. Like, still better than the F. 
No, what I'm saying is, and oh, I'm not dude. acting like Luca's a great defender because by no stretch is he a great defender. What I'm saying is the idea that nothing about Luca's defense has changed is just untrue. And that's what I mean when I say bad reputation defenders might be just as bad as good reputation Yeah, defenders. but he's, he's still... Because we're ignoring the fact that things have changed and just acting like it hasn't happened. That's if, your rep if your reputation doesn't go from bad to good, if it goes from bad to just a little less bad, you still got a bad reputation. But then people are acting like nothing has changed. That's what that's what my issue. Yeah, you changed. went, you went, you went that's from being issue. a complete, you went from being a complete scumbag to now you just be doing something. But people shit are acting like he still is Sunday. a complete scumbag. Like, that's my point. I don't want to be like this. Like, but my like, point is, people are acting like he's he still got a bad a complete reputation. Scumbag. He deserves a bad that's reputation. That's my point. If we, if I can acknowledge that he's improved but still isn't good, why are people acting like he's still the same as he was in 2019? That's my he's issue. A complete and he total has, negative. He's not. He's not. It's like when people act like James Harden in 2018 was playing the same defense as 2015. It was just Bobby untrue. He just Fellas, we 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 got to move on. But J. Rob, what's what what's happening next? Oh yeah, I'm about to head out, fellas. I love chopping it up with y'all. But make sure y'all pull up to the press box again today after the show, two o'clock. We got Michael Parsons' brother Terrence. He returns after a legendary first debut for Terrence Parsons. So make sure y'all pull up again. He's definitely going to talk his shit, and you know we're gonna have a good show. Make sure y'all pull up. And I'll see y'all boys later. Y'all have a good yeah. Day. Yes, Nephew, be easy. Merry Christmas. Chill. Lastly, we need your top five list. Um, everybody that Ma said, take out Halliburton and put uh, De'Aaron Fox at number five. Mm. Yep. Pack up Halli, yeah. Mm. Where was your list, Chilltown? Uh, Luca at number one. Uh, Che, Curry, Trey, uh, De'Aaron Fox. Is that just because of like if, if Tyrese didn't have the drop off that he had after the All Star break this year, would you have him over De'Aaron? Okay. okay, that's fair. Yeah. I can see it. I'm I'm hopeful. I have him high because I'm just I'm hopeful because I've seen what he can do like when he's playing at his highest level, you know. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. I don't. I mean, I don't, we saw something. We saw something off. incredible from Tyrese Halliburton for a stretch where he was twenty and 20, 20 and fifteen, and, and the assist to turnover ratio. Like that's the crazy one and thing. two assists, and then that went. We went from that to. Nine and six. Yeah. Uh twelve you know, and eight. only threw that for a couple games. You know, it has only been like and I'm and, 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 right. and, and I'm one hundred percent confident this is about right now. It's not like you did that a couple of seasons ago. We're talking about today. That's what we're talking about, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Steph just had four points. Yes, he and did. Both, they, both they, times they, they played the Mavs since the all-star break, he has absolutely torched us, and we have not been able to to handle him whatsoever. It's because Luke couldn't play defense, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, though, yo, we got Super Chats, so we're going to go ahead and do it from the top. I got to shout out all of our members, though. We got a lot of members that came in the door today. Want to show all of you guys love. Abdul Aziz. I'm not even going to try your last name. I appreciate Aliana. you, Abdul Aziz. Alalaya. Alalaya. Shout out, bro. Yeah, for real. Shout out, bro. <laughs> Thanks for coming through. Appreciate you for joining the party. 97 Till became a new member today. Kato is a new member as well. NV DK right. Hank. Shout out to shout out to NV. Shout out to DK. Shout out to Hank. All new members. Lego Rovers. That's a familiar name. Shout out to Lego Rovers. Cheese is still doing his job, kicking out players choice memberships. Shout out to the Cheese, homie. man. Dub Cheese. Cheese, right. Cheese really coming through and doing his thing. Shout out to him. And all of those five members that did become members as well in the midst of this whole thing. Highlight Life Sports and Gaming. Shout out to him. He became, or her, became a new member. Shout out to that person. Uh, Chris Roberts. Shout out to Chris Roberts. Uh, you can see he's a Chicago Bulls fan. So, hmm. shout out to Chris. Hopefully, you know, you can cope with the stress of what's going on up there in Chicago. I pray for new Chris. Ones. Became a member as well. The Ones is a new member. And Uncle Tito. Welcome to the party, Uncle Tito. Uh, we still going, y'all. It's Showtime became a new member today. Shout out to It's Showtime. War V Room is a new member. Mike Brent. Dime One. Dime 10 One. Or Dime One of One. Dime 10 One. Became a new member as well. Shout out to all the new members. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the show. We're going to keep rocking with y'all. Salute. Salute. Uh, Ali, no, we wouldn't, Ali. Real quick, Ali, no, we wouldn't. They just lost by 50 a couple of nights ago. And we only talked about it for a little while. So, no, we wouldn't. So, keep going, Ron. I'm sorry. Cheese. 
said Luca clears that bum, and it ain't even a convo. Who's he talking about? Tatum. 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 Oh, He's yeah. It's bum. not a fair. It's, I don't love that comparison for Tatum because it's just like it's not fair. They're different players. I mean, we you, you bring in what Tatum does on the other end of the floor. It's much closer than than people think. Um, but. Lucas Luca, man. Why wouldn't you bring that in? That's the part of basketball. That's what I'm saying. Like, it is. I'm saying that's what people don't do a lot. If I was, if I was Justin Tatum, I would feel disrespected. Imagine that me playing all around the court, playing basketball, you know, rebounding, playing defense at a at a very good level, and then being compared to dudes that can't guard their shadow. It's disrespectful. You're right. It is. Yeah, like imagine someone said Magic Johnson's better than Jason Tatum. Like, how dare they? Jason Tatum played both ends of the court, man. How dare you say Magic Johnson better? How dare? Imagine, imagine, imagine really watching the game and realizing that Magic Johnson played defense though like, but you're not watching yes, the game and realize that luca plays defense that. so this is contradictory i'll just i'll just we just did that he doesn't play defense. yes, I'm just yes, yes he, 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 he does play sydney moncrief on defense he might have just went i got a million silver yo mars unfortunately we can't do this right now i would love to do this i swear i would but we just can't nick tri-state said sangoon is the next Jokic. Dot, dot, dot. Luca is overrated. No, he is not. No. I don't know how you can have the first thought and then have the second. That's that's shout, crazy. Shout out to Sangoon, but don't compare him to your kitchen. No. Andra 15789 said, Jason Kidd needs to be fired. Again. <laughs> Mavs could have Mosley, but Carlisle said uh, Mark Cuban to the... But, but Carlisle said Mark Cuban to hire kid. Rick knew what he was doing. Oh, he's saying Rick Carlisle tried to blow up the franchise after he left. Basically, mm. he left the bomb in the arena. I don't know about that. Sauce man said Tatum went down swinging, Ron. He took the last shot and he was one of nine in the second half. Shots didn't fall. It's not like he went and hid in the corner. Mm, he was aggressive. Go respect that. Andra 15789 said Mavs roster is good. Coaching is bad. Quote unquote, Rome wasn't built in a day. Jason Kidd after yesterday's loss. Another Lucas generational season ruined. Which one? Which one? The Mavericks win the title this year. The switch up gonna be crazy. You don't like that? Luca's top, top, Luka top ten. Mods. Luka's top <laughs> ten. Mods. We're not I'm winning an NBA right championship. Now. We're not. not Luca's top ten. He's the only one gonna get yeah. injured, and then Dallas is gonna go to the finals. I, I can mm. see him now. Avery B said, "Give a grade to Wimby's defense yesterday. Seven blocks, but gave up forty-five points to his primary matchup." Uh, Mars, can you give us a grade on that? B minus. All right. B minus. Prince Liger said, chill in Mars. There's no way y'all really think Wilt benched 500 pounds. <laughs> There's no way he benched as much or more than prime wrestlers Kane, Cena, Lesnar. Mars don't think so. I do. <laughs> to be honest, I don't, I don't really care. You know what? <laughs> Everything about Wilt is true. Definitely. Everything about Wilt is true. I don't, I don't care about I'm going to be honest. I don't care about it enough anymore. I, everything's true. Why not? It's nice to believe. Khalil Young said, "All NBA five man team of the best role players ever. Who makes y'all list? Boris Diaw. Mm. Every more more role player technically. Ever? Give me Boris. Give me Boris for sure. Uh, Can I get four more? Y'all help me out. Role oh, players. Four. Chime in. Tari that's Eason that's on my team. I don't know. Tari <laughs> Eason on my team. All time Tony role coach. Players. Uh." Oh, Kevin Durant. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, so, all right, we keep it. We keep it in list. Almighty Lambo said, "Mars speak." Sure you Whenever my you wife undercook my chicken, I just cheat on her. Yes, yeah, you did. That makes me unhappy for real. It should make you sick. You shouldn't even have the energy, <laughs> the energy to go go out cheating. You should be dealing with something else. <laughs> Alan L said. <laughs> Mars is for the NBA streets. Shake my head. 100 Facts. 100 percent Mars. Is. Does indeed. <laughs> Prince 100%. Liger said, Mars Damo. I just watched Kobe. I, I just watched Kobe 12, 13 season. Do y'all think he could have hit 40K? And how much longer could he have been top five if he had no injuries? I what do I mean by watch the 12 13 season? He was like, watching, he, that's, 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 watching that's, that's back that's even the tore, highlights of Kobe and yeah, that's when he tore his that's when he tore his Achilles. And then that's, that, that's when the whole thing him. started. Mm. So Kobe after the 12 13 season was at 31,000 points. So do you think he could have scored eight and a half thousand more points in the rest of his career? 
by the time he, he, played, was, by the time he got he only played three more. He only played three more years after yeah, that. If he doesn't, if, if, if he, does if he dead, doesn't tear his Achilles, I think, he, I think he plays longer. I do. I think if he, he doesn't tear his Achilles. Can he score eight and a half thousand points? For the I think he plays longer. Yeah, I think so. It's possible. I do. I think he plays. Mike Brents sent through a couple super chats. One was empty. Salute to Mike Brents. Then he sent to another one and said, question for Chill and Mars. Can y'all explain how Bill Russell won a few MVPs while he finished second All-NBA team? That's crazy. He did it three times, as a matter of fact. Different three rules times. for All-NBA teams because yes. the All-NBA team was not um, player voted. MVP was. So MVP is right. voted Bill Russell. The players voted Bill Russell. The media voted Will Chamberlain first team. Right. That's why. That is wild. Three times it happened. Mm, yeah. But accolades matter, right? <laughs> Interesting. Mm-hmm. Print Solitude said Dame has one good game. Now he's back in everybody's good graces. Please stop. I agree. Bay Area Kemba. I'm still not moved by the Bucks. Eric Taylor just became a member. Shout out to Eric Taylor. Welcome to the party. Jack O VX says Slim with the worst performance than Dub yesterday. Uh, Tomatoes. <laughs> no, Slim, Slim's been all right, other than the Tyrese yeah. Halliburton nonsense. <laughs> hey, people are gonna not like anything you say at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm, yes, I'm he gonna, has yes, he has nap time. Yes, he has nap time. Considering what he was doing, considering what he was doing, 20, 27 points, 20 assists, two turnovers, 22 points, 19 assists, one turnover. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Jay Got Game said, let Slim talk so he can cook y'all on Jay Kid." <laughs> oh, I, I, I went off. I said, I said my piece. <laughs> uh, Jamaica's Rock Clot Choice, Ross Clot Choice, Sent through a few different super chats. He said, "Dub panel just got here, but Bob Capping, I don't know for what." Good, I'm good. not acknowledging that. I'm not acknowledging that unless Ron says it with the Jamaican accent. So he also said, "Hey Damo, watch your mouth about Golden State." I wonder what I was. Uh, it ain't my fault. Y'all lost by seventy nine points. What the hell? <laughs> they got smoked. You mad at me? You are you running. Wrong you person. Running. <laughs> I should put 76 Yo, on y'all. Okay. Okay. Uh Quan Johnson said, Ron, your Charleston white black black and mild lips. <laughs> me? Yeah, you stray. Uh, all right. Uh Lee Diggy said, Ron, what's my bail price? Did uh did the FCC finally show up? For real, I got banned from SY. Y'all leave my y'all leave brother Womack alone, by the way. No more chat slander for real. What? Why does Leaf need Bill? No, just keep him wherever he is. What is S Y? Mm. Yeah. Oh well, Leaf. We got one from Grant. A super chat said, "Chill turned into Shang Sung and took Buddy's damn soul." <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, Andre one five seven eight nine said, "J Kid as the Bucks head coach, forty one to forty one." 33 and 49, 42 and 40, 44 and 38. First bud year, 60 and 20. He's wasting Lucas Prime. Oh boy. No, it's, Lucas, it's Lucas' fault because he doesn't try on defense. Londini the genie he said, I told y'all stop playing with Ump. Josh Messiah said Lonzo's shot was unnatural. Great shooter now, though. This show was hideous. He actually back in the lab too. If, if y'all seen him, he yeah, I, I seen, out. I seen. He been, he been working out. Apparently, he's still going to sprint. But I want, I want, to, I want to see him play so bad. Again. He can't sprint, Mars. Is that what you just said? Appar- apparently, he still can't sprint. Apparently, it, it, nah, it depends what you classify as a sprint. From what uh, I watched, uh, Shams going to Jeff T's podcast, he was talking about Lonzo's progression. He's at a point now that they were wishing he was at last year, stuff like that. Like he's probably at the best point he's been in these last couple of years of his rehab. All right, y'all. I got a few more super chats. I'll, I'll up, all of all a of sudden. a sudden, all of a sudden. Whew, I was almost. Whew. Uh, <laughs> all of a sudden, said, which would you have rather seen a longer prime from Isaiah Thomas, John Wall, Blake Griffin, Russ, or D Rose? I, like, I feel like Russ had his Russ. prime. Yeah, yeah Russ, Russ had, had a long one. Russ had a career, buddy. Like this yes, one. Yes, he did. Russ was like good. everyone else got their career cut short. Sure. Like, yeah, like John, saying... John Wall tore his Achilles. Blake was never the same after Detroit because they made him play on a bad knee so they can make the playoffs and get swept. Right. Um, I mean, is Isaiah anyone not saying D Rose though? No, I'm anyone saying John. I'm saying John Wall. I'm saying John Wall. I just feel like we did. We got so little of Prime D Rose, man. When yeah. he was the youngest MVP in league history, and it's like it was just cut so short. 
Yeah. I mean, that's I, I'm going D Rose, and it's not even. Give me funny. Isaiah Thomas, man. Sure. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I'll take yeah, Isaiah yeah. Thomas. Sure, I, I do. Yeah. I do. And I'm not just saying this because I know it. I do. I would have loved to see what he would have followed up that 30 point season with. Imagine if they yeah. traded him for Kyrie, and he's with LeBron, and he's actually healthy. I would have wanted to see that. Yeah. Eric stuck. Taylor said, "Chill. What? Who would have had a, the the best career if they didn't have injuries?" Hmm. Back burner account, I guess. Um, Grant Hill, T Mac, B Roy, or Derrick Rose? Grant Hill. Greg Monroe. Not Greg Monroe. Jesus. Greg, <laughs> Greg Oden. Oden? Greg, Oden. Greg, Greg Oden. Monroe is crazy. I'm about to say Greg <laughs> Oden. Wow. <laughs> Greg Oden. Sorry. Yeah, T Mac for sure. T Mac. Lego I... Rover said, Mars been saying uh, early Cavs Braun is overhyped. I like Burrito said, bruh, that game alone had about 20 highlight clips. Prince Liger said, Chill was right. Almighty Lambo, a clown. Yeah. Cultured Saunders said, So that Suns versus Nuggets game. Dot, dot, dot. What about it? I only watched overtime. Alan L said, Who can't F with the Bucks, Ron? Lego Rover said, J Kid did this with the Bucks. It's not Luca, LOL. And last but not least, Toast the Goat said, That is a flat out lie. Hallie is Jordan Poole level. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got the press box next. We will be back at the same time tomorrow with the same crew. Just better topics. Also, chill with chill later today. Tap in. Five o'clock. Eat it, haters. Later. Eat it. Yeah, eat it. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah.